Wow. How you doing? Hey, welcome. Woo hey, welcome back to Papier Marie. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna get back to it after a brief detour to Gartic Phoneland last stream. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a, a good weekend. I watched a ton of GDQ yesterday and got nothing done. It was great. Hope you're doing well. Glitz Pit goes hard. It does. Hello, hello. Hey, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna say hi to some shy guys today. That's what's on the docket. Um, but uh, yeah. Productive day seems like yeah. I watched a lot of people be good at video games. It was great. Um, plans for tomorrow? Not really. Just gonna get some stuff done. Shy guy nice. number one. How shy are those guys? These shy guys are not very shy. As we've already seen. And there's more to come. I missed the Outer Wilds run. And I'm sad. I gotta watch that VOD. But I saw that the, um, the developers of Outer Wilds recorded their own commentary. They watched it live as a, as a studio. I think it's on their YouTube channel, which sounds awesome. So I'm like, should I watch the GDQ run first and then the commentary? I don't know. They seem like nice guys. Absolutely, yeah. The uh, the no clip documentary about them was great too. Before they put Isabel in Mario Kart, I would always be pink shy guy. Only pink shy guy. It's a good color. Shy guy equals bold guy. Yeah, they got they got some bold guys in this game. Airboat. I missed the air the the portal uh, uh, run. I only learned about airboat well after the fact. Blood Jar series run was chaotic. It was very chaotic. The, uh, the, the, uh... Mitch killed it with Mario 3. It was good. It was good, good, a lot of good GDQ. Uh, if you don't watch GDQ, then... Just check it out. Speedruns are neat. Um, Airboat was real. Yeah, I... I don't know why, it just fucking, like... The airship levels in Mario 3... People kept spamming and being hype about airboats. And one person said, ground airboat, when there were just tanks, and I... It was funny. Anyway, um... Never watch GDQ Live, that's fine, you know? You can do whatever the hell you want. Can't believe Hot Amos was in GDQ, same. Not only was it in GDQ, but Games Done Quick themselves tweeted out, like, GDQ out of context, and just a grid of memes from this past week. And one of them was a screenshot of the one runner who it cut from the in-between... Uh, uh, graphic to his stream, and he was enjoying a hot Amos as it cut to him, and uh, that was very upsetting. Anyway, can't believe Barry's pointing at everything. Yeah, no, there's actually there's there's one I did want to share. There's been more pointing in the in the server, but I did want to give a special shout out to uh, Quasars. Who said, uh, Barry, make sure I don't miss my interrupts. He's cool like that. To which I said, uh, you're welcome and or I'm sorry. I don't know what this means, but... Apparently I'm helping them with WoW. There it is. So, you're welcome, I guess. It's, um... Uh... It's, it seems useful, I guess. I don't listen. <laughs> you, shit's on cooldown. Do do the do the thing. Do the thing. Wow. Jeez. What this button do? It does this, Alex. Wait. 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 I swear, every time someone redeems a time me out, and I do it, um, I click on their name right as someone else messages in chat. So I end up clicking on someone else, <laughs> it's always like, eh. Because you can type out the code to time someone out, or if you're a mod or streamer, you just click on their name and there's a timeout button. It's right there. It's great. But I want to make sure I don't time out their own. If anyone's ever hit in the blast, I'd say let me know, but you'll be timed out for 10 minutes, so you just have to be mad at me for 10 minutes. Anyway, um... Faced cheat! Faced cheat! Anyway, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, the other thing I was gonna mention. No. No. No timeout, no seppuku. Um, was, uh, you might remember I did a stream last month, something called Color Funk Challenge League, and, uh, that was a, uh, a thing that Todd put together, the first of several challenges, 
Uh, the first of which... So we did three challenges. It was um, uh, getting animals in Sonic Adventure 2, getting high score in Treats of Rage 2, and um, uh, 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 not dying in the Sapphire Cup of F-Zero GX. Thanks for the hydrate. Um, and so the first clip show is available with highlights of all the streamers who oh, who did things. Poor Sonics so, weren't quite wait, I have it zoomed in. Enough. Hold on. Uh, there we go. No, it's not in 15 seconds. I have a seal to watch. So there's a whole 30-minute oh, video. Oh, come on! Of <laughs> all of this, go, and it's dude. very go. good. Cosmic, thank you. Okay, how did he fall with those down? golden gorgles. No, 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 I refuse. Oh, he might be dead, huh? It's me. Um, you want to go a little bit faster there, champ? I'm gonna die. I missed the boost. I'm gonna die. Give me the boost. Yeah, I'll post the link in a sec. <laughs> no, Sonic's gonna die. <laughs> He's dead, guys. No. Miss him every day. <laughs> no. There goes the missile. No. Don't know. We made it. Check out how it's done, <laughs> y'all. Over there. Navi just flexing on all of us. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> made it just in time. <laughs> I was uh, a little close for comfort. Each level had plenty of animals for everyone to find, but some people searched anyway. a little harder than that. You get the idea. Um, I'll post the link in the chat, or you can follow Todd, Toddly underscore enough, but on YubTub. Uh, it has not only clips from everyone, but he goes through all the challenges, breaks down the points, the bonus points. Um, thanks, Twitter. I tried to copy the YouTube nice. link from his tweet. And it just turned into a Twitter link, and I'm like, get Twitter! Anyway, here's the URL. Bam. It's time for Flatmar. Yeah. And then, and then, and bam, 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 bam. Go follow Todd on YouTube as well. Subscribe. Um, it's real good. Hope you check it out. Uh, and yeah, the second round of challenges, the second verse, as he's calling it, is supposed to be starting this weekend. He gives all of us ample time to do the challenge, so probably be like once I finish Paper Mario thereabouts. I'll be doing new challenges, new games. I already know what they are, and I'm very excited. Anyway. Can you post the link again? I think I missed it. it no. There you go. I subscribe to the Flat Mario Theory. Listen. Some theories are right. Anyway. Um, hi. Welcome. So go, go, give that a watch, or if you're here to watch the stream, go give that a watch later. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, it's your Game Boy. I wish to pawn Star Wars or whatever. Hey, welcome. Hope you're enjoying those vods. Um, I think that's everything I was gonna mention of things happening that happen sometimes. Um, but 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 but. Well, it's a flat Mario theory in the same vein as the theory of uh, of uh, of gravity. It's just it's, don't worry about it. When your brain... Uh, did I enjoy GQ? Yeah, I missed a lot of it. Um, but... What I saw was very fun. Always a fan of a GDQ. It's weird that SGDQ is gonna be so early. They announced that they... they it starts in late May. And I'm like, this is turning into... Sp s spring games done quick. That's good. Assume the Mario Sphere. Assume a frictionless Mario Sphere. Yeah. Hey, he may Welcome. Mega Mike, hey, welcome. Thanks for subbing. I got I get caught up on alerts. Appreciate it. How come the early date? I mean, my assumption would just be that, um, uh, uh, well, it, much in the same vein as like they had to pivot and <laughs> cancel a GDQ that just happened from being in person. I imagine that logistics are continue to be a nightmare, and maybe whatever venue they've locked down for SGDQ, just like. You know, maybe for the contract they were going for, maybe they just only had earlier dates available. Don't know. Um, but... Because I think traditionally, for an event of that scale, you lock down those dates with that hotel or whatever the venue is, like, literally upwards of years in advance. Um, so you can block out... Because for something like GDQ, that's like, oh, we need tons of space, multiple ballrooms, multiple meeting rooms, and we're reserving a block of hotel rooms for for guests to attend to for an entire week 
that is a big undertaking. You need to lock that down really far in advance. So if they were still trying to hammer out details like not too long ago, then I'm not surprised if scheduling was difficult. I can't even begin to think about organizing a plan, an event of that scale. So it's fine. Listen, as long as SGDQ happens, I'm excited. In person or online, whatever. I, I enjoy it, but um, yeah, anyway, it's fun. Must have been rough. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, um, ba, ba, ba. we're going to get back into the Wahoo Weehee game. Um, in between streams, fill the headset resub for 51 months. Thank you kindly. Ba, 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 ba. Words here. Thanks for four years. Enjoy your, oh, your, not your okay, your key card. Thank you. You can, you hold it up and it's boop, 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 and then it like has like 15 doors that opens up. It's fancy. Thank you. Shy guy, please. Smash Bad, thanks for 96 bits. Guess what? I beat what I think was supposed to be the final boss of Vampire Survivors. Nice. Unlock the most OP character in the game. Nice. Still have achievements and secrets to unlock, though. It's one crazy game. I love it. I'm glad you love it. It's a big old beefy game, and they keep adding more to it. You haven't missed anything, Red. We're just starting. Making noise for 24-7 for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gets loud. I mean, like, having attended uh, SGDQ 2019 in person, um, it is astonishing how loud it can get in the main stream room and how it doesn't travel super far due to the layout of that specific hotel. Um, but obviously things spill out into the hallways and stuff. And they ask that people, you know, not make a ruckus within the hotel itself. But it's like, the way it was laid out was pretty good. Like, things were kind of compartmentalized, so anyone else at the hotel, you would kind of have to be wandering, like, very close into GDQ territory to be, like, in the thick of it. It wasn't just, like, everywhere. I don't know. I liked AGDQ and Eric Cobb. Yeah, exactly. Vampire Survivors a trip. The seizure warning's warranted. Yep. And anyone that streams it needs a bitrate warning because it just turns into pixels. I say walking down the hall. It was mid-conversation. They have a chance to say hi. Oh, no, Forte. That's cool. Next time. Someday. I, I like, I would love to go back to a GQ. It was one of the most fun weeks of my life. Like, no, no joke. I can't, if you are able, have the means <laughs> to attend something like that. I just, I've never been to an, an event like that. And I've talked about it in the past. But, like, I've been to conventions, I've been to concerts, I've been to many live events, but I've never been to... It's, it's all... I I don't even know what to compare it to. But it, it's just like, you're, you're at a place... The way I described it in the past, too, was like, if you're attending a GDQ, you have such an overlapping Venn diagram of interests with anyone else that's there, even if you're not interested in the same games. It's like, you're already relatively invested within gaming and speedrunning. So almost anyone you bump into randomly, you can just have like a five hours long conversation with. And most people there are just super welcoming and chill and nice. And like, and then on top of that is just the idea that like, it's a base, like for me, it was a week long vacation. So I love my anime cons. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a week long vacation. We were not staying in the hotel that the event was in. We were in a hotel nearby, but still. Thank you. It was just like, you wake up, you check the schedule, and you're like, what are we going to do today? Like, it's just like, so... It's like a gamer utopia. You say our love is draining and you can't go Oh, man, Zimui, I don't know. You see the one complaining with Exactly, Shiv. Exactly. No, don't change the subject. Thanks for the $10. Thank you so much for that, Hammy. Is DS Dad still around? My favorite fucking thing about DS Dad was when he hopped into a Reddit thread about himself and he said, it's not a DS and I don't have children. <laughs> and everyone cried that day. <laughs> Many people were there for the same reasons. JDQ, you're meeting people who were there for the exact same reason. It's the exact same reason and it's, it's also the length. I think that's like also what's part of it. It's the length of time that GDQ lasts, because a week is a very long time for an event like that, especially if you're there in person, but even just watching it online. By the end of the week, it's like, oh my god, it's been a long time. Um, and, like, also just being in there in person, there's just a lot of stuff to do. Um, there's, 
the practice. There's, there's, I believe there's multiple practice rooms. There's one that's closed off to only the runners. Then there's a more public practice room where you can just kind of like walk around and people can basically rent out consoles and games and just either play them or you can just like watch runners practicing. On I think my first day there, or maybe second day, I walked into one of the side rooms that's just for like gaming and hanging out. And there were four Mario 64 runners on four CRTs racing. And I literally walked up to see cash changing hands. And I was like, what the fuck did I walk in on? It was just like this like fucking moment. I was like, oh my God, I've made it to, to nerd utopia. This is amazing. It was very cool. Um, and there's a, an arcade, literally with like arcade cabinets and DDR and all kinds of fun stuff. It's just, and like, I don't know. It's, 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 it was a magical time. I'm gonna stop gushing about it. Also was there with Bath. So of course that made it fun too. You saw nothing. What Paper Mario has become, I know. <laughs> That's why I, I'm excited to play this and eventually someday replay Thousand Year Door. And then, uh, and then be done with it, and then move on, yeah. With the silver and the gold credits! If they'll be IRL. I believe the plan is for it to be IRL this year. Because it was IRL with a hybrid event last summer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this AGDQ was supposed to be in person. Got cancelled due to reasons that I don't care to discuss here. Um, but I would assume the trend is for them to be back in person again. Barring any other unforeseen circumstances. Knock on would anyway um anyway please play thousand year door i would love to it's just a very long this game's pretty beefy thousand year door is a very beefy game and um yeah i also just don't if i stream thousand year door it's not going to be like right after this it'll be a while from now but we'll see listen i still have to go back to melgar solid <laughs> to only played one and two the 20 person sunshine race everyone simultaneously stood up during the courtroom scene to take a quick break it was hilarious that's excellent Playing right now. RPGs do not equal short. That's why I don't stream them a lot. This makes this game look like lean beef. Yeah. Other games you would love to stream between this and Thousand Year Door? I don't really know. I, I have I have my own mental list of games to, to check out and stream. Um I don't usually announce games in advance though when I'm when I'm planning the stream stuff. Because for one, I think just surprise is fun, and for two, I don't know. My 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 general rule of thumb is like I like to space out these longer playthroughs. Uh, where I'm just playing, like, the same game every day. Hey, streamer, play Fortnite. What are you, Bath? Thank you, Kelly. When you pog upon a star Makes no difference who you are Thank you, Vinny. Oi! It's a pretty bright star, it is! What's it doing? I think they used the photo that had you in it during their closing credits. What close? What closing credits? Who are you talking about? Why aren't the ghosts called shy guys? Oh my god. They are shy guys. Oh god, closing credits of Pinocchio. Oh yeah. That's the plot of this game. Well, you can, it's just not gonna happen because the star rod's missing. This year's Disney movie is called Wish. It's based on Wishing Star in honor of the 100th anniversary of Walt Disney Company's founding. I mean, like... I don't... I don't know if that's a good title. I mean, I'm just thinking, like, like... There's been a trend of... Recent times where Disney likes their one-word titles. You know, instead of being like, The Snow Queen, it's called Frozen. Instead of uh, Rapunzel, which is also one word, it's Tangled. You know, it's like, it's gotta be like a punchy one-word title. And clearly they found success doing that. But just the word wish by itself, I'm just like, maybe it's cause it's like a, a verb? I don't know, it just feels weird. Yeah, Brave, well that's Pixar, but same, similar kind of vibe where it's like, this is, like, almost uncomfortably generic in terms of just, like, it's a word. Shrek. There you go. I'm not standing for this Tangled hate. I'm not hating on Tangled. I'm just saying, like, as a title. I mean, I, honestly, maybe Tangled's one of the best examples of one of those kind of recent... I say recent. It's not a new movie, is it? Um, Encanto. Well, I think Encanto because it's Espanol. 
Tells you a little bit more what it's... It t tells you more. If it was just called, like, Sing. Or House. <laughs> You'd just be like, what? <laughs> what is that? It's meant to grab the Quibi crowd. Oh my god, yeah. They're, they're left floating out in the void without a home. There was a Sing, right? Wasn't there? Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. Um... I like the conspiracy theory they called Frozen Frozen to gum up the Google results when you search for Disney's Frozen Head. Yeah, Disney Frozen no longer pulls up conspiracy theory videos first. Zootopia is a good one-word title. That is the title that tells you a lot about what that movie's about. In my humble opinion. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, Dave Kazer, thanks for 42 months. Enjoy your Toki. Thank you so much. Bun Bun, 11 months. Welcome back. Bale Teeth, thanks for soup. My favorite chapter and favorite partner, let's go Toy Box. Toy Perium, 53 months. Shy Guy pleased. KO the Dragon, 49 months. Thank you so much. Zacatron, 100 bits. Dave with 100 bits. Gonna lurk while I do other stuff. Have a good lurk. Colab, thanks for 27. Some bear stream while I pack up for my move. Couldn't be better. Hope you have a safe and, safe and seamless move. Hope it goes well. Dotto, thanks for a year and a half. Enjoy your very mild Chris Galdi key. Beepus Boopus. Play game with Lopus. Thank you for the year and a half. Uh, Rosebud Wolf, thanks for soup. Why is the soup made of paper? I uh, ordered the Zupa de Giorno, which is uh, your receipt for your meal in some water. Please enjoy. Quabla, thank you so much for five gifted subs to that one Jew from our Nectarine, Shuthel, Double Forte, and Hand Basket Gaming. Welcome and welcome back. Thank you so much, Quabla. JJ Wildheart, thanks for four years. 48 months, that's almost a year. Just about. Enjoy your key card. Thank you. Tracker Rock, thanks for soup. Hype soup. Snow Beetle gifted a sub to Mrs. Ass Blaster. Maybe it's Mr. Sass Blaster. Uh, thank you. Zach Try, thanks for soup. Soup or Paper Mario. I'll take the soup. Smashman, thanks for 100 bits. This music reminds me of Born of Bread. I've been obsessed with Born of Bread lately, in particular how the music from the demo alone captures the feel. A thousand your door. A thousand your door. Give it a listen sometime. Thank you. Midnight Zeitgeist, thanks for eight months. Welcome back, Forte. Thanks for 16 months, paper time. Akko, 51 months. Back in action. Unnamed Trans Girl, thanks for 69 bits. Did you know Barry streaming is an anagram for yes, Bart is Ram Ring? Is that real? My god. Do you think we take another 25 minutes? So I have time to walk my dog. Uh, go get that pooch outside. Oh, I will be streaming the game by then, but. Pooch needs to go. Real. Parentheses. Real. Sing to them. Sing three songs. Sing for your life. Sing five guys. Sing six songs. Sing. Stream ring. What's streaming a game like? Um. Weird. Uh, Atomic Trickstar, thanks for 20 months. That's almost the year. It's very close to it. Good old 10, thanks for soup. Hope y'all had a super weekend. Universal Fireworks, 200 bits. Hulu move, 35 months. Wow. Wow, thank you so much. Uncomfortable answer six for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Aggressive shy guy noises. Bam. Egg, egg 40k. Thanks for four months. Thanks for the prime. Welcome back. Smash thanks for 68 bits. Found out today is the 68th birthday of Mayumi Tanaka. Not only the voice of Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece, also Krillin and Yajirobe from Dragon Ball. She's amazing. Hope she lives forever. Uh, happy birthday to her. A legend. Mega Mike, thanks for the prime. Welcome. Thanks so much. Hope you're doing well. And also, Mega Mike with a hammy. My birthday's tomorrow, and so I'm dropping a hammy, as is tradition. Been a VOD watcher for a while. Glad to catch one live for once. Thanks for enjoying the VODs. Thanks for coming by a live stream. And thank you for the sub from the hammy. That is all very kind and appreciate it. And I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Happy early birthday. Hope you have a good... I mean, you gotta you got make the best out of a Monday birthday, you know what I mean? Hope you have a good one. Evbe, thanks for 100 bits. Mmm, paper soup. Delicious. It's a ghost party. Thanks for 43 months. And Alpacosis, thanks for 13. Is it unlucky? Well, you didn't have a 13-month resub on Friday the 13th, so I think you'll be okay. I don't know if there were any 13-month resubs on Friday. Not that I remember. There might have been one. That would have been something. 
Streaming is like playing a video game with the most unpleasant monkey alive when he minds talking to you. Yeah. Here's my grandson that yeah. is, in fact, not their grandson. Yeah. Don't let them take my grandson. They are One day birthdays of the new Wednesday it birthdays. isn't possible. Don't let them be your grandpa. Oh, yeah. Looks like they're on the list. Thank you, Draco. It's very kind. Thanks for the hand. It's been a while since I've been able to catch a stream, especially now that I have an internship in the morning and work in the afternoon slash evening. Busy. Busy. Nice to catch at least part of this one. Love the VODs, even though I can't always watch live. That's so kind of you, Draco. Hope you are doing well and that you're uh, staying afloat with all that work. That's a lot of stuff. Best of luck. Chat hive mind demands the funny. Listen, my, my job is to um, be uh, just, just treading water enough that people clip things that Gam can then present for the monthly highlights to make me look funnier than I actually am. That's the job of the stream, as far as I'm concerned at this point. Anyway... <laughs> it's 15 minutes! Boy, we're speedrunning through this thing, aren't we? Dang! How about we get back to it? Uh, we are diving into Chapter 4? Also known as Chapter Quattro? In the Papier Maurier. And, um, we're gonna... We're gonna get back into it. Um, we need to, uh, uh, we need to stop these shy guys when are raising a ruckus. Um, clip it! Clip that! 15 seconds and 21 frames. Well, the game runs at 30 frames per second, so, you know, you gotta really, you gotta be frame perfect with that. Um, I think we already checked all this. Yeah, there's, so there's been a shy guy invasion. They're running, running amok. There's a shy guy among us. And, um, this guy's running the shop over here. So, we need to find out where they are. Get out of here! Oh, poor me. You can actually get... Now I can steal... Oh. <laughs> Mario, way to show that little hooligan a thing or two. Hooray! Thank you so much. I'm still giving great deals at rock bottom prices. Don't be a stranger around here. When the guys are shy. <laughs> It's that German meme, but he just has a shy guy mask, so you can't see his face. Anyway, uh, I don't need to buy anything. How we doing on items? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Probably. Um, hey, Alflex, how you doing? I'm a doing. Um, so I already know where to go, but I don't remember how you determine why that's where you go. Um, I guess probably from talking to people. There are a lot of NPCs in this tow town. Hey. Time heist for money also plans to steal everything from the store for free. Listen, when an opportunity presents itself, have you ever met the wise Toad Rusty? He's got a lot of books. Oh, well, maybe me can tell us. Anyway, it's over here. Just gotta go over here. Thank you for clipping that, Draco. <gasps> it's Chet Rippo, Chet! It's Chet, look! It's Chet Rippo! Oh my god, for only 39 coins, I get a free level? What a bargain! Every time I do this bit, someone in chat goes, NOW! In all caps. Anyway, uh, I guess over in here. There's shy guys are hiding in somebody's house here! Shy guys in Toad Town! What rubbish. I think that people would notice a huge group of shy guys living in one of the houses in the neighborhood. There's no way that's true. Anyway, you're staying next to the house they're all inside of. Remember this suspiciously empty house? Oh no, it's Mario. It's it's Shiv's shy guy. There they are. Let Chet look after your money. Yeah. Zero percent APR. Uh we got it. And then you gotta whoop. Wait, I can do a better whistle than that. Wow, I can't whistle for shit today. <gasps> what? Nani? My gender is shy guy stealing Skittles from a gas station. <laughs> you mean right in front of the door? That's pretty good. This game is very precious. What the? Oh. Where'd he go? Hmm. It's a toy box. Looks like something's inside. 
Maybe they're up in the ceiling. Oh! Chapter 4. Trials in the Toy Box. I don't know why, but the, the silhouette in the far right is reminding me of that one meme. Uh, oh. Mm. Don't small my Mario. It's already small. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's just reminding me of that one meme of the silhouette of that uh, woman with, like, her arms back, and then someone turned it into, like, a like sock puppet bird thing. You know what I'm talking about? Bump, bump, bump. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! We made it! This is, like, arguably, like, the halfway point in the game, but because I mentioned before that, um... Uh, uh, I only- when I rented it back when it- like, around when it came out, maybe a couple years after, um... I only got as far as the Tubba Blubba chapter, so in my mind, this is, like, really far in the game. I'm like, whoa, the toy box. I only ever, like, read people talking about it on Game Facts. Never saw it myself. Eh. The Shy Guys are very good. Usually I work here at Blue Station, but since there's no train, I'm pretty much unemployed now. No train? Welcome to Blue Station. Uh, fortunately, I can't take you to the other stations. I don't know why I'm giving them this voice, but... Well, all right then. We have the station and the tracks and everything, but the train's missing. Yeah, well... If anything's gonna go missing, I'd expect the train to disappear before the tracks. No Mystic Ruins, no. No. Dang. Replaced by Tally. You're a toad! I'm sure that he's fine. This train is not departing for the Mystic Ruins. What are you doing, Cammy? Don't do it. <gasps> A Goomba! Perfect! Mario really hates these guys, so he'll run. Oh, this is because last chapter... Chat told me to tell Peach to tell Bowser that Mario hates Goombas. Will they really scare him? They seem pretty weak. I'm getting a little sus of the, what Peach tells us. Well, it doesn't matter. King Bowser ordered it. And he's the boss! Can't believe you guys... <laughs> The Goomba himself is confused. That's very good. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Time out. Wait, time in. Yeah. Hmm. Similar comment for Mushroom. That's eh, fun. Oh, I've got Zap Tap on. Excellent. Uh, why don't you tell me what this steel is? Yeah. Well, I like to think she teleported it, you know? This is a shy guy. They're ne'er do wells. Big time rascals. No good. Max HP 7. Attack power 2. Defense is zero. They occasionally do acrobatic attacks and have an attack power of three? Who knows what lies in the hearts of these troublemakers? I guess they're dangerous. They're pretty small time. Also, not even remo remotely shy. I don't know. They don't seem that shy to me. Uh, ba bop them. Mm, bop it. I still take damage from that. Great. Ow. Three. Stop it. Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna do a big stomp. Big, big stomp. Yeah, big stomp. Here we go. Crushed it. Literally turned into paste. Nice coins. Thank you. Yeah, actually, nice. I have to not ruin it by picking up more coins. Eh. Can't get up there. Oh. Oh, well, if that's the case, then... Oh. Thought there might be something up there. That large jump attack they do. Their attack animations are very good. Hmm. Well. Oh, I'm gonna get some coins, so... R.I.P. Nice. Yeah, it's still pretty nice. Um... Goomba! Whoop. How'd you get up here? Shh, look at him! Shit. <laughs> I was too enamored by the way of them. Sky Guy? They're Sky Guys. They're master balloonists. Spend your dang coins. I have infinite money. I've already spent a lot on pigs. 
We can attack the balloon too. Once they fall, they're just like normal shy guys. I wish I had a balloon so I could float. That looks awesome. Hope that's in the post game. Quest to get Goombario a balloon. Um, so you can attack the balloons or the guy. I'm gonna attack the guy. Yeah. Ow. Wait. Okay, I guess I was late on that. Definitely late on that. I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, this is going really well, actually. Uh, you just smash them. Bam! Will they draw you a map? These are the magic words of Shy Guy. Don't steal them. These aren't Fly Guys, no. Wow, you have to hit that really early. Feels bad. Eh. You seem like chill people to hang out with, right? Balloons, slingshots, cool blocks, up to no good. General tomfoolery. A penchant for shenanigans. I like these guys. Hmm? Oh! Yatta. Uh. Delinquents. My, the lot of them. Sounds like that. Our 690 coins! Nice. Oh my god. Kiryu's block. He left it behind right here. I need to find him. Tell him where it is. Oh, we can we can go in a... In here? Uh, uh. Mm, mm, mm. Eh. Uh, you got any invisible blocks up here? Maybe, maybe over here? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yoshi's a Yoshi. It's true. And Zendaya is, in fact, Michi. Um, trying to think. Maybe we can slap the shit out of him. I don't know. Oh, I now see what we are to do. Wait, how do we get back? Better be a spring here. There is not. Good. Uh, huh. Nailed it. Oh shit, Abacus. Math. Wait, we we can get we can get in there. Is it is it is it's like back here? And then whoop. I got it. I got it. Bowser at the supermarket. He's at soup. Okay, final para carry. Jesus. Pardon me for trying to platform in a Mario game. Eh. Eh. Mm. You thought it was a pizza monster, but it was me, Vinny. Hmm. Sure, Thunderbolt, why not? Oh my god. Um, uh, Bombette's my strongest party member, I think, actually. Uh, probably need to put down a save state for this. This is, a uh, pretty intense. This is a big fight here. Oh, Mario? I have to fight Mario? By myself? Why me? I'm toast, but I have to try. Feel my uh, wrath, I guess. It's got mini boss music. Okay, all right, okay. Um, probably power bomb. Probably power bomb. Whew! Nice. Good RNG on that. Got through there by the skin of our teeth. Didn't get a single star coin from that. I miss him. Storeroom key to the storeroom in a toad, to toad town shop. Oh. So we have to leave. Maybe we should check the path to the left from the train station before we leave. Interesting. I don't understand what you're saying, laser disc. <laughs> da, 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 da. Eh. Good thing we put down that save state, right? Oh my god, wait, I should put down a new one. Just want to fight that guy again. Oh my god. That was intense. Every single one of them. Mm-hmm. Is that like a shy guy? 
It's me, male guy. And he's got like, f fucking. Just. I'm, I'm just imagining now a shy guy with like human proportions. But still with the little mask. Bob Barricari, Barricari. Yeah, true. Yeah, male guy. Eh! Shyman. Uh. Get him. Every shy guy's a different gender. That's right. That's why they're a rainbow. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? Don't do it! Whoa! Nice. I wonder if I should eat healing. Oh. Yeah, let's maybe eat some healing, um, like that. Scrumptious. I don't know if this is a different type of guy. But just to be safe, I will prepare to tattle. Thanks oh. for the $10. I said thanks for the $10. And there's a million things I can buy with 10 bucks. Like, uh, some lettuce. How much could a lettuce cost? Ten dollars? He'll destroy you. He probably will. That's why we have save states. PS Weech! Thanks for 61 months! Duel of Mario! Swing your sprite from side to side. Optional super boss, by the way. Like, like legit? Legit super boss? Let's put down a second safety save. I think we can take him. Hmm? What do you want? Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's mine, see? Don't mess with me. He said that, but there's a heart. So I'm kind of- I'm kind of thinking maybe he's coming on to me. You want to fight? Are you nuts? You don't want to mess with me. You sure you want to fight? Oh. How many gallons of lettuce? Yeah, let, lettuce is sold by the gallon. I think you typically get like two to three gallons. If it's like good fresh lettuce. Well, all right, I do love a challenge. Here it comes, pal. Don't say I didn't warn you. I wasn't warned. All right, how strong could he really be? This is an anti-guy. Giant. His attacks are so intense that he's also called Deadly Guy. Max HP 50, attack power 10. Defense power zero. His attack power is 12 when he does an acrobatic attack. This guy's for real. We better take him seriously. Um. Um. Jump on his head. Bet he's gonna like that. Ow. Here's, here's, here's a strategy. Here's a strategy for you. Dabba, 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 dabba. Out of sight. We just do this for a hundred turns. We got time, right? Don't know why I did that. Um, just a 50 power bounces. It's that easy. Uh, let's refresh to get some stuff back. Until he gets bored. Or check gets bored. <laughs> Either way. Ba, 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 ba. Ow. Okay. Peril strats activate. How come... How come she didn't get a turn? Can she not do that every turn? Hmm. Hey, Liz. I am a man of culture. I am about to be murdered. It has to recharge. Oh. One turn of hiding, one turn of unhiding. Oh, so you can't actually cheese it. You got him on the ropes. Yeah, I almost got him. Got it. So that's how you're not allowed to cheese every fight in the game. That does make a lot of sense. We're gonna die. I don't know. I think we got this. Here, let me just, um... I don't have my, my multi -man. Hope you had a good GDQ, Liz. I think- I think we got him. No, 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 we, no, we're, we're gonna get him like this. We're gonna get him like this. 
bump, 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 bump. I'm gonna ask you to dial it, d dial it back like 3%, Laserdisc. Just like a couple notches. We raised a small amount of dollars for charity. I'm very tired. Very small. I mean, that number on the screen was like, what? Like 10 pixel font? Pretty tiny. Ignore the number of digits. And it was objectively a small number. Here you go. Three dollar. <laughs> Three whole dollar. This is going really well. This is going really well. I basically, I can't lose. Um, here you go. Maybe if I fought more shy guys, I'd actually know the timing for how to dodge these attacks. Uh, yeah, this isn't happening. Anyway. Yeah. Bump, 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 bump. All right, I'm, I'm just, all right. Take, take, take a lap. <laughs> take a lap. Calm down. Just smack the shit up. No, out of sight. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Griff, thank you for the hammy. Do you like fried eggs? Yeah. Thanks for the hammy. Uh, I don't have any more of those. That's fine. Dibba, 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 dibba. Egg. I want to go for lap two. Take a lap. Sometimes it's nice. Clear your head, you know. Have a good lap. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why am I delaying the inevitable? I should just let myself die or just load the safe state and keep going. What's in there? What's in that chest? I want to know. It's probably really cool. Ow. I bet it's like three more of these guys to fight. A power-up badge? Oh. oh no. That's kind of a waste of that. I'm back. Hey, Nikki. Thanks for the prime. Hey, you don't. Power smash. Well, but double dub is that true? It might be. It might well be. Um, do this. It's like I'm not even there. Yeah, I know I have a save. I know I have a save state. But at this point, I'm just like, I don't know. Strangely committed to dying to this man. Donk, donk, doa. Ow. And we're dead again. All right. Cool. Well, we'll just not. He looks tough. <gasps> Who's this Chester man? Pacifist method. I mean, I don't know if I'll do it, but lay it on me. Who are these? Why are... Groove guy. I did enter that fight without being at full HP and FP, so... We can maybe try it again later. Didn't do bad. Thanks. There's a Groove guy! Look at his moves! Groove guys wear weird clothes. They're probably stage clothes. Psh, you know, performers. Ugh, theater kids. HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They shake their booties to call on reinforcements. They also spin around in front of you to make you feel dizzy. Did a, did a Nintendo game really just say shake their booties? There's a snack Auntie really likes. Remember that for later. A, a snack? Okay. Hmm. Language. Hams. These rock and rollers are a drag, so let's ditch them as fast as we can. Yeah, baby. Ugh. Um. Ba -da 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 -da. Nice. Let's, uh. Yeah. And. Yeah. Pow. Wrong hams. No such thing as wrong hams. Ooh, well, I don't know how I got that right, but okay. Um. Smash him. Turn him into shy paste. Sell it at Costco. Wholesale. Got it. Glad they didn't send in more clowns, because I already have enough to deal with looking in the mirror every day. Oh. I like that, like, bunny rabbit sprite on the horse. It's fun. Zoom. Wholesome Shy Paste. Available at a discount in bulk. Um, okay. Oh. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna trade that for your life? Um. Hey, maybe Cooper. He hasn't. Get back here. 
Oh, well now I feel like a bully. <laughs> he very much did run away and start cowering in a corner. And then I hit him. In the booty. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. What does that mean, Zamri? He just wanted a garden. I'm on something for that. I think that's the correct move. I was late! God, something about these shy guys' timings. I just do not have. It's weird. They probably stole them, probably. I mean, we did see them running amok all over town stealing stuff, but who's to say? Maybe he planted that himself. Grew it out of the abacus. Oh, well. There sure are a lot of them. <gasps> Calculator! We need that. Get back here. He's trying to do addition! Stop him! Shit! He's immune! Get him. Cry, guy! How dare you? What are you doing? Hey, hey! Show me what's on the calculator. And he's holding it upside down. It says boobies. Give me that calculator back. Right, right. Hey, get back here. Stop it. Get back here. Uh, eh. Matt's a hell of a drug, right? I was so early. Damn it. I got, I got this. Well, well I used to do, um, on, on the calculator, um, I forget what the exact, I mean, I could look at a calculator or think about numbers. Oh, sure. Yeah, give me, like, three more coins. Thanks. Um, but you can, upside down, you can spell out, I sell shoes with a standard calculator like that. This is very, very clever. Hey, it says Nant. No, sorry, it says Nant. My favorite Zelda boss. Yeah, that's the one. Well, that's that's shoes I sell. Let's change the order of it then. Yeah. Although that does work right side up. It says now Nant. Oh, it does. Now, Nant. Uh, sure, grab it. Nantown? Nantona? I'm a crabbit today. Um, once I'm in high school, I wrote out the entirety of never gonna give you up on a graphing calculator during physics because it was very boring. I got yelled at. I had a really, really bad port of the Bowser boss battle from Mario 3 that I got on my TI-84 or whatever. From Midwoka. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, oh boy, this is a fucking mood. <laughs> when your FP is low and you gotta drink a whole bottle of syrup, listen, it's a way of life, really. That's very good. <laughs> well, so I had to zoom in. The it does say Barter's worth. On there. Mmm. Gotta, gotta replenish that FP somehow. Drink? No, rub it all over your skin, yeah. Yeah, you can absorb maple syrup through your pores. That's true. Thank you. This is... Literally art. <laughs> Why is he so sad? You ever tried drinking a bottle of syrup? It doesn't do a body good, I'll tell you that much. And you only get 5 FP from that, yeah. Yeah, drink more. Um, what are these bags? Although maybe, maybe I do, maybe I do want. Get back, get back here! Stop it! Stop it! He's trying to eat that mushroom. Get. Boom! Cake mix. You need one to progress. Oh, for tasty. She got her frying pan stolen, but I guess. Cake mix is as good as a frying pan, right? Good for cooking. You ever felt the blood flow through your veins? That's what happens when you drink an entire bottle of maple syrup. 
Yeah, it, it coagulates you real good. Turns you into syrup. Because you are what you eat, you know? That guy fucking... Every... I, I These sons of... Mm, I'm trying to block their stupid attacks. They keep getting me with the same thing. They do the same two moves, and I keep going, ah! Cake mix is used to make cakes? I don't know about that. But, um... Ugh, that was weird. I jumped to pick that up. Get back here. It's like Elden Ring enemies hold their attacks just a little longer. It really is the same kind of vibe. Um... Give me this. Mario got cake. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that sprite. My man's is an oval. My man's got the same body as one of those, uh, uh, what are they called? Um, we Weebles? Weebles wobble and they don't fall down? What are they called? Was it Weeble? No, I don't, no, I don't, I'm, I don't trust my own brain anymore. Got him. Yeah, Weeble. Weeble wobble. Fuck, God. Yeah, Weeble and Bob. <laughs> it's the exact same. Yeah. The very same. Yeah, he's got a Weeble bottle. Weeble, bo weeble body. A weeble body. Cake mixes used to make barbecue. You. You did redeem a timeout, and goddammit, you earned it. Redeeming time me out is not an excuse to say something that's gonna make me mad. 07. A weeble. A very small. God. You. You. Um. Nah. Sure. He's built like a marketable plushie. You, yeah, well... Yeah, I haven't thought about Weeble and Bob in a minute, either. Remember the old internet? The internet of old. I'm saving for mod almost there at 5.7k. Hey! That's almost the mod. Speaking of channel points, and also because it's on my brain, shoutouts to what GDQ did with channel points. This, this AGDQ. If you missed it, they did two very cool things. They, they typically haven't really done anything with channel points. They, they've had one. Mix used to bake tasty cakes restores one FP. I'm gonna eat that cake mix out of the bag. Uh, might as well grab the other one. We have the... Yeah, we can grab it. Um, they've had a thing for a while that just posts orb for a lot of channel points, and that's it. Um, Mario eating cake mix. I need the one FP. Um, and uh, they added two things this GDQ. One of which was they added uh, games to the donation tracker in between runs. So they had like Oregon Trail. Every time someone donated, you. Every time someone donated, it would it would progress a little bit further, and then at milestones it would Fort a river. Um, they had Snake from MGS3 climbing a ladder, and you would go up a rung every time someone donated. Very clever. And people could spend channel points to change it to a different game. They called it changing the channel. Which I did spend channel points to do, and then it didn't happen. <laughs> I was like, oh well. I don't know if it's either done automatically and it glitched, or someone has to manually do it when someone redeems it. It was kind of early in the, the marathon, so... Not at all surprised. Um... You have to get tasty to make you a cake scene braids the Shy Guys Barbecue. You need to stop talking to me. The All-Star Shuffler was so good. It was great. This guy killed it. Um, so they had that, and they also had the occasional CPU battles in between runs. Um, yes. So there were, there were games like NBA Jam and Street Fighter, and they had CPUs fending off against each other, and you would bet channel points every now and then in between runs, just while they're, like, reading donations and, and getting set up and stuff. And I was like, that is so clever. Because you're just, like, hanging out, waiting for things to happen, and they're like, by the way, here's a four-player Bomberman game. Which Bomberman's gonna win? And everyone's like, yeah! It was good. Mostly the Street Fighter. Yeah, I did see a good amount of Street Fighter, but I was like, what a... It was, like, a very... very clever way to keep people engaged in otherwise less interesting moments. Like amoeba fights, yeah. I bet all my money DJ and lost everything. I bet a lot on M. Bison came out like a fucking bandit. I just saved. Okay, we gotta leave? 
We need to go provide thing for it's this is a fun weird mini dungeon. I like the fact that they use the fact Let me try that again. I like that they use the fact that you're in the town. I forgot if it was this one. This shop. I think it's this one. It's not just like, oh, it's in this town and that's cute. It's like, no, you actually have to leave the dungeon and go back into the village to do stuff. It's you. A shy guy stole my storeroom key. Shiv snuck past the timeout. Oh, shit. Where, 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 where? Cat's fact, the original Broadway production used yak hair for wigs. More than 3,000 pounds of it. 07. Goodbye. Also, there was a hydrant in there. They said if we got 3 mil, they'd program a Twitch play system for those games. We did not reach 3 mil, so I think we're safe. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be a massive amount of complexity. I would just love to see them... Because uh, there was a, a Twitter thread from one of the devs that worked on the overlay for GDQ. Which they've done for several GDQs now, breaking down the technical side of how they build everything and concepts and stuff. And they said they had 20 ideas for the games that would show up for tracking. And I think there were only like three or four. Um, including Secret of Monkey Island, which uh, I missed it because I caught only the second half of the Melgar Saw 3 race. But um, they played Snake Eater in between, but in the setup for MGS3. And they had Guy Brush and Stan sing the lyrics in the little tracker in the corner. And I had to watch the vod of that, and I was like, my god. You should have a hydrate! Everyone's doing it easily influenced. 07. It was very good. Yeah, Stan! It was very good. Uh, also, in, in, the, in, the, in the, the technical breakdown... Hey, JD. They were like... They talked about how... Um, they wouldn't be able to ensure that the song and the video feed for the 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 the, the lyrics, the karaoke they did, would be in sync. Um, so they had the tech crew effectively replace the overlay with a video seamlessly. And if you watch the vod back, you would never know. I'm like, that's such a smart solution to such a weird amount of effort and time for this one one-off gag in a week-long marathon. Uh, it was very good. But yeah, recommend looking it up. Did you get rid of the music? Yeah, it depends on what it is. But I think since they switched to OC Remix sound, uh, uh, like remixes and music, they've been keeping more of the music? I don't know. Hard to say. Anyway, um, can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world would I do? Here you go. I found this. All right, Mario, you did it. You got back my storeroom key. Thank you so much. You saved my livelihood. Tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's just a little thank you for getting my storeroom key back. Oh shit! He's just letting me steal. It's not as fun if he lets me. If he asks me to steal from him. No, you can't get either computer. The tap water in my hotel room is cloudy, I don't think I'm drinking this. Oh. Maybe there's a, a like $15 bottle of water in the, the mini fridge. How many items can you carry? Ten? I'm currently at 10. A toy train! A very well-designed toy train. Could this be more than a toy? I wonder. Tell you what, you get to take one bag of Frito-Lays on me. That'll be $4. Hmm. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know. <gasps> it's Chet Rippo! Chet Rippo! Maybe I should store the cake mix? Because I don't think... Taste he will want it now. No! Holy fuck, it's Chet! Chet, look, it's Chet! We'll store with extra care. And this one. Just store one? Well, I can just grab it back. I just don't think Tasty will care until we get the frying pan back, so... Can we get a hold on what, what Chet's head shape is? What's going on there? Yeah, it's good. We should see what Chet has to say. Yo, romance, your old friend Chet Rippo. Good to see you again. Usually this costs 390 coins. But for you and you only, you only, I'll do it for only 39 coins. Me sitting at over 700 coins. What a bargain! 39 coins to upgrade your bup? Oh my god, Chet, what a, what a bargain! What a bargain! 
kind of got a spoon bill situation, yeah. This bitch shall never die. Not until I'm done with this game, it won't. Toss that in the box. Down below! Yeah, it's probably fine. What? I know Chet emote. I know. I'm gonna rebrand the Chet Rippo. All my branding everywhere. Chet Rippo. Just crushes them. Lands next to them. Be pretty good. Didn't you get the calculator? Oh, yay. You're right. Oh, you're right, though. Who wanted the calculator? Or who lost their calculator? Chet Rippo PNG Tuber. Chet is Rippoing. The store for the other store fell. Bad shop. Oh, it was bad. You're right. It was bad shop guy. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's me, Chet Rippo. Thanks for subscribing with Chet Rippo Prime. Sorry, but I had to close up shop. Some guy stole my calculator. I assure you, I'm not the one who wrote 80085 on this. It came that way when I picked it up. And no, I didn't hit the clear button. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the Shy Guys? Yeah, I'm in your face, Shy Guy. I can open my shop again. Oh, man, how can I repay you? I know. Take this. A special badge, bud. Use it with care. The I Spy Badge. A sound and icon alerts you to a nearby hidden panel. Dan says we would have gone out of business if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. We can open the shop again. All because of you. Thank you, mister. All right, open up. Let me, let me get a look at them badges. Calculator? I want to calculate now. Calculator? But I barely even know her. Uh, well, how much does that cost? Because if it's one, then maybe that's nice. Uh, yeah, it is one. Do I have anything I don't ever use? The answer, of course, is yes. I... I want to take off multi-bounce, but the moment I take it off, I'm like, damn it, I wish I had multi-bounce right now. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Um, I could get rid of power jump. That's a lot of bup. Bup. We could talk to Chet. Shit, you know what? Why, why would we do any of this when we could just talk to Chet? You're right. You know, Chet, when you're right, you're right. Close call. Close call is saving my hide. Several times. I'm keeping it on. Chet Rippo. What if I start calling Chat Chet as a wholesome reference to our beloved favorite NPC, Chet Rippo? Yeah. Go up by Chet without saying hi? I gave him one of those cool guy nods. And he gave one back. Oh, shit. Does- is it just, like, you're in the same room as one? Now you have to find it? Oh, no. Maybe I don't want this on, because <laughs> I'm just gonna spend a lot of time doing this just in the room. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh. It, Cooper, you want it? Thank you. Do party members actually weigh it down? That's kind of messed up. The train's running again! We can leave any time! Yeah, I mean, mm, that's what an amazing mechanic. Intelligent systems, more like intelligent. That's what what an insult. <laughs> Boy, you sure are intelligent, aren't you? Yahoo! We're back in business. This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks. Public transit's up and running. Literally a gift from the heavens. You can use the switches in front of the trains and stations. Choose the train's direction. Just let me know when you decide which direction you want to go, okay? All aboard! Which way do we want to go? We're at blue? Do we want to go to pink or red? Let's go to pink. Let's go to pink. That way. Let me go this way. I'm ready to go that way. Let me on. Let's go. Where would you like to go? Pink. That's orange. Look kind of red to me. We're leaving on a boat! Why are there toads in here? They fell into the box. Next up, Pink Station! Pink Station! The train for the Mystic Pink Station will be departing soon. 
who's cuter, chat or chat? An important poll. Chat, chat. I'm here. Oh boy! Another one. Where could it be? I bet it's over here. Actually, I bet it's I bet it's over here. Spoke too soon. Yeah, there it is. Oh, these things are everywhere! God. Chet, 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 chat, chet. Cha cha chu cha cho. Mailbag! Bag full of letters returned to the post office. <gasps> nice. Chet isn't cute, he's sexy. You can be both. Those are not mutually exclusive. Scoots! That shy guy is just on fire. He seems okay with it. Strangely enough. Um, let's open the mailbag and read some. Yeah, let's get in there. No. Wait, who's that letter for? Red Yoshi Kid in Yoshi's Village. Yep. Oh, I should have rested at the Toad Inn. Oh, well. We're fine. Eh. Nope. Whoa! Ow! But also, oh my gosh! Look at- look at both of them! I love this- I love Paper Mario. I love Paper Mario. You can't look at this game and then look at fucking Color Splash and be like, these are the same. Fuck! There's so much they do with these little guys! It's so good! It's a spy guy and a medi guy. This is a war crime to attack him. <laughs> this is a spy guy. They look like they're ready for war in their spiffy camouflage gear. Yeah, barely even noticed them there. Blends right in. HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. They change their weapons each time they're attacked. You best try to avoid their hammer. Every time you're hit by it, you'll lose one of your commands. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, let's, let's get him. Yeah. Bam. Uh oh, there's that hammer. Nope. No, he stole my hammer. No. <laughs> no. You leave me alone. Uh, what's up, Medi guy? This is a Medi guy. They're the emergency workers of the Shy Guy clan. HP 7, attack power 1, defense 0. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course, they also attack. Good thing I got that jump badge. Mm. We better hurry up and take them out of the mix. It's a pain if they keep fixing all the damage we do. Gumbario, no, that's a war crime. I'm not gonna do it. Bam. Yeah. Oh, he just has a sad little sit. Uh, uh, chat won the poll. Who's cuter, chat or chat? 64%. 69 votes. Nice. Hey, chat, nice. Yeah. Gumbario, don't look at this. Okay, Mario. Wahoo. Uh. <coughs> Mario going to the hog. And other short stories. I should probably be using some of my items, because we are... You know, almost filled up. It's not a war crime if you close your eyes, it's true. If you just start punching and walking forward. Who's to say what happened? <gasps> oh! That's a gourmet guy. Wow, he's huge. Does this guy ever stop eating? Looks like he did until his stomach blew up. Look at him. Look at him. Everybody calls me gourmet guy. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary food loving shy guy. Uh, I'm hungry. Oh, um. Shy chungus. It's only work on if there's a Geneva in the Mushroom Kingdom. I would, I would believe you if you said there was a mushroom called the Geneva. Just like me, for real. Uh, you wanna drink some syrup, my guy? Hey, you could just give him a regular-ass mushroom. Seems pretty good. New internet, don't have to watch 160p? Hey, Drex! You can enjoy Gourmet Guy and all of his pixelated goodness. We don't have what we need. Uh oh I wanna give him a mushroom anyway.
Ick. Blah. That's the worst tasting food I've ever eaten. Ick. My delicate palate is too refined to eat this stuff. I can eat only food of the finest quality or I might gag. I'd rather starve than eat such inferior food such as this. Oh, he's an asshole. I get it. Cool. Eh. Uh, eh. He needs some soup. I'm too hungry to move. I'm famished. I must eat. I need a sweet, sweet cake. Sweet cake with frosting and cookie crumbles. He could have said that in the first place before he spat out my mushroom on the ground. Rude. Give him a Thin Mint. No, I want a Thin Mint. This is not a barbecue. So how do I get on the other side of those tracks up there? Hmm. Now imagine if you eat the cake mix. Is there another way to get cake mix? Or would you have to, like, leave and see if those guys respawn? Hmm. Beep, 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 beep. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. There are other ways and they're harder. Oh, well. It is nice of them to only make it heal one FP. It really should just be a key item, but, you know, whatever. Um, Time for a walk. Wait. Multi-bounce. Here's my time to redeem all my other failed multi-bounces. Well, I didn't fuck up the first one. So that's progress. Uh, we should maybe... Um... Slap the shit out of someone. Like you. Slap the fuck out of him! Teach you to be there floating ominously above the ground. Ouch. Thank you. Oh. Very good. Uh, do it again. Nailed it. That was technically multiple, right? That's what I'm saying. Uh, teach you to float in an adorable little clown car and help others. Fuck. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. Listen, just a hundred more fights like this and we'll level up and we'll be fine. We're gonna be a-okay. Yep. Oof. There you go. That is a squished ah. Whoa! Okay, yeah. Damn it. Oh no. A jester. There it is. Yeah, boy. Um, um. Who's uh, the high? Probably this guy. The groove guy is probably the highest priority because he's going to summon in more lads. I did it, finally, for the first time in the game. I finally actually did it. More like Geneva's suggestion, am I right? Technically, we're in a playroom, so it's playtime. Everyone's fine. It's all just a, a elaborate prank. Um. Uh, yes. And then we'll slap you. Nope. Slap you. Slap you. God, these animations are so fucking cute. Um. Meh. Very roughhousing. Mm -hmm. Just a little roughhousing. Just gonna do this and then heal again. It's free heals. Actually, I can't heal again. I don't have enough juice. Never mind then. Goodbye. I need more juice. Nice 2 FP, thanks. <laughs> I'm doing real good! And then the Geneva Conventions still apply to playtime. Well, I've never read them, so who could it, who could possibly say? 
Defend plus decreases damage mark ticks by one. We're putting that on. We're putting that on yesterday. How much for that? Probably a lot. Probably quite a bit. Yeah, six BP. Well. Well. A third of our P BP. Geneva. Kind of Banjo Kazooie esque. Yeah, I hear it. Like the personality of the animated the Boo Partner's face. Really cute addition. The animation is very good. The sprite work. Yeah, so it looks like it's time to go see our good friend Chet. Uh, well. Quick change is very nice, but not essential. I think I can live without it for now. Zap Tap is nice. Zap Tap Close Call Power Smash. Yeah, I haven't been using it that much. Zap Tap is nice, but yeah, not necessarily crucial right now, at least for this section. Zappa Tappa. I like Close Call, though. We, do, do we need Ice Spy? Do we, do we need it? It's not like I'm going for 100%, though. I think we can live without. Zap Tap Gatekeep Girl Boss? Maybe. Very much maybe. Now that I... Uh, 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 I'm taking off multi-bounce. I'm taking off multi... We... I... 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 I, I successfully bounced. So I... I can live with myself now. How we doing here? Uh, we're fine. Really. Unless there's a big, important battle up ahead, in which case maybe I should do this. I don't know. Countdown to Regret. It's my favorite song. Oh. Where you go? Where are you? He's late for work. Um. Oh. That's very fun. As is everything in this game. The first entry in the series? Yeah. I mean, I suppose... Technically, it's not the first, because Super Mario RPG. So it's not the first Mario RPG, but it's the first Paper Mario. So there's... Increased star points. Ooh! Good thing I fought a guy. What a great time for that to pop. Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Country. How do, oh, I got... Oh. You know. Very, very cool. Very cool. Ice power badge increases attack power against fire enemies by two. Now, hold up. We did see some guys on fire. It seems incredibly suspect that they'd give this to me right now. Mario won't take damage when he jumps on a fire enemy. Ugh. Mmm. You think they feel pain? Who? Shy Guys? Yes. Is it a cool bottle of drink or a snowman with a hat? Oh, I saw a snowman. 100% saw a snowman. It's really great in Chapter 5. Yeah. Seems not applicable. Makes me want to, like, croon, you know? If I see a man on fire, I'll, I'll equip it, but... <gasps> Do I... I can pick it up. Pick it up. Phew, wee. What a sp spooky, scary experience. Frying pan. For tasty. Sweet. Yeah, he's gonna come back. To oh. Ah! He fell over. You okay, buddy? You all right there, champ? Yeah, they're fine. But do they just keep spawning? Hmm. Yeah, they're good. I'm just walking in a little circle. Gotta respect the, the hustle, you know? Yeah. Infinite shy guys. They're vibing, they mean no harm. And so I will cause no harm unto them. For now. Let's go back to the surface. Back to outer space. Get him, take me to blue. Wanna go blue? On a board. The train for the blue ruins will be departing soon. 
Where's that rendition of Station Square? The Mystic Bluins. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. So we got a frying pan for Tasty and a whatchamacallit for who's it? Mailbag for the mailman. <gasps> Chad! Hi, Chad! How you doing? I'll see you later. God, I think I'm on a street pass to the chat. It's so fucking cool. Wait, I want my- I, I need my cake mix. Shit. I work on the road until I'm like, I'm working on the road. Need this. Notice me, chat. Notice me. Uh, I want to sell something, but what? Attacks all enemies. That sounds nice. Strikes one enemy. Less nice. Sell that. Don't need it. Never gonna use it. Um, 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 nah, we're good. Give me the cake mix to soothe my soul. I want to bake a cake and give it to a guy and drift away. Give me the cake. Get the item. Anything else? Do I want to make an apple cake? A, a, jet, a toothpaste cake? Leaf cake? I don't know. Has... has... hams. What if Delta Room was inspired this chapter? Possibly. You got your cake right here, shy guy. Eat more than that? Talk to Mario. My man's a walking bakery. Hello there, hon! Thanks for coming, but I can't cook. You stole my frying pan! Hey! Oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan. You saved it from the Shy Guys. Thank you so much, Mario. For that, I'm gonna make you something extra special. Tra la 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 la. Here's the cake. Cake. Where's the rest of the cake? It's just one slice. I had this in the fridge. Tasty cake baked by Tasty. 15 FP. This is my most delicious cake. One taste of it won my late darling's heart. Oh. Oh uh, no. Uh, tasty. Oh no! I swore I would never make it again, but you're very special, Mario. Oh no! Just one bite will make anybody go gaga. Yeah, can you make some cake mix for me? Do it again. I shall cook with cake mix. Yeah. Is she hitting on us? God, I hope so. Remember when Barry started and Twitch went allowed buddy modes? Now we can have butt time. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I'm not surly about it at all. The recipe's not too bad. I did just pour cake mix into a frying pan and let it sit. Cook a fire flower? I can do that. Don't mix up the two cakes. Oh, God. Oh, sh- Oh, no. Uh, hey there. I shall cook with fire flour. Can you cook a TV? Yeah, it turns into a VCR. Here you are. The recipe's not too bad. Here, please. Spicy soup. A hot soup. Cooked by Tasty. It stores 4, it stores 4 HP, 4 FP. Nice. Come back anytime. I will. I don't know the legends of VCR. Thanks for the soup. Can't have bunny emotes, but we can't have cake emotes. Look at that seven layer dumper. Getting those squats in. Sure is. Mailbag, you're right. Thank you. How did you know I was. <laughs> Even with stream delay, you knew I was immediately gonna leave. Thank you. Ba 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 ba. Soup. We all love soup. Can't get. Also, I need a rest. A postman's job is never done, but Mario's not a postman, even if there's one in his party. Hey! Shy Guys stole a full bag of mail from us. We failed in our duty. Commander Slater Snow or Shy Guys, we're supposed to deliver no matter what. Whatever can we do? Oh, that's it. That's it. The soup. Thank you, the soup. Thank you, Mario. You'll never know how many people will be happy to get mail. But let me give you a small thank you gift. Mom. Huh. Bye, thank you. 
appreciate it. Da 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 da. Yep, da 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 da. Da da. Oh yeah. Now we can go back. Wait. God. <sighs> Literally can't keep more than one thing in my brain at any given moment. Pooh brain is real today. Yes, nap time. God. Season your soup with some butt. Yeah, you get a little shaker and it just goes. Bup, 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 there you go. Did we buy badges? No, I have not checked to see if the badge shop is open. Well, I, mean, I know it's. I haven't checked it. So, eh, it's fine. Since they reopened, I don't have a lot of bup to spare. Spin smash. If Mario hits an enemy, smashes in the ones behind it. Jump charge. Charge him up. The jump power goes up by two. Sleep stomp. And then makes enemies sleep for a bit. I think I'm good. You gotta drink some bup. It comes in a can now. Jump charge me pretty good. It is, but I'll never use it. Because <laughs> why charge up for more damage later when I can do damage now? Charge, jump, power bounce, destroy everything. Anti-guys a 50% vulnerability to sleep stomp. Specifically sleep stomp, or can I use a sleepy sheep as well? Because I think I have one of those in storage. Any sleep. Let's check this shop. Or lullaby? Yeah, I also have lullaby with the star power. I could try like that. But if I have one in storage, it's like, I'm not- I don't use these status items. Old man, old man, old man! I'm not that old. Old man, old man. Gimme, 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 gimme. I can't carry more items. Um... What? I- No, I want- Sell? What am I not gonna use? This is kinda all good. I guess I could store a cake. Bum, 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 bum. This! How are you doing? We're having a flat time. Store a cake. Store with extra care. I, I want it now. I want to check out. I, I love dialogue menus. Uh, claim. Even back on the N60. Yeah, Sleepy Sheep. There we go. Even back on the goddamn N64. Nintendo was like, isn't it fun to have several different menus all embedded within a dialogue tree? And yeah, it's not even nested dialogue, it's here's everything you want. But you can't go from one option to the other, you have to back out and then talk to them again. We're back! Got car, work tomorrow, drive there with car vroom vroom, this! Hell yeah. Mike ride, but it's Viz when? That's very exciting, Viz. Hope you're doing good. Okay, so over here, right, was the guy? No. Okay. Bump, 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 bump. Laser, I'm gonna have to time you again or or ban you or something. You really need to dial it in. Sorry to say. Want want to have you here, but not if you're causing a ruckus. Yeah. Yeah, da 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 do. Don't don't don't. Damn it. God. Dang it. Nice. I like to give people a chance, but I hear you, chat. Chat or chat? Get him! Slap him! I do think I want to bring Bao into battle. I'm going into battle. Yeah, all right. Slap him up! Uh, do, 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 do. I finally did the timing. Um, purple soft drink, thanks for six months. And a tier two. Holy hell. Thank you very much. Enjoy your golden key. Thank you very much. Create. Uh, Ayo got my key cooler. It's gold. Nikki Glub. Nikki Gub. I almost said Nikki Glub. 
Uh, thanks for the six, uh, the, the prime. Welcome. Enjoy the emotes. Smash thanks for 69 bits. I can do anything. Big vibes from here. Phoenix, thanks for 27 months. Can this sub go towards the Barry is Stinky incentive, please? And thank you, smile. Any smilers in the chat? Thanks, Phoenix. Greetings from here. Lord Leviathan, thanks for three months. Thanks for the prime. Enjoy your silver key. This game made me realize my love for shop slash bakery JRPGs. Thanks, Tasty. Scootsby, thanks for four years. Hot dang. Enjoy your key card. Thank you very much. Big Cave Monster, thanks for 31 months. My sub is old enough to worry about their college loan debt. I feel that. I paid off one of my student loans. Like last month. Or it was mid-November. I did the Yeah, thank you. I know. And the other one has, is just kind of in limbo. <laughs> Will it get canceled or not? I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. You can do that? Yeah, it just takes 10 years of never missing a payment. Yeah, only 89 to go. Mm-hmm. Goblin Tendencies, thanks for nine months. Enjoy your ruby key. My sub baby is full baked and ready to be released nice. in the chat. It's a loaf of bread. Thank you so much. Enjoy your ruby key. Wes, thanks for soup. Purple, thanks for soup. Raven, thanks for 69 bits. Since Bear does a stream on Monday, here's Mashed Mario Monday bits. Thank you. I smashed my thanks for 69 bits. You did it. The dream is fulfilled. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not 100% free because I still have another loan that's in limbo. But listen, I'll take it. Thank you. Didn't take out loans and then dropped out because I saved, ran through all my money. Oh, well, at least I don't have loans. Next month, my LASIK will be paid off. Yo, congrats. Thanks, Neutron, same to you. Anyway, let's go. Actually, well, I, I do want to see what Goombario says about him. Also, I do still need to tattle him because we time heisted. He's a guard named Anti-Guy. He's all by himself and he looks totally weak. Although, you never know. Appearances can be deceptive. Just look at me. Weak or really strong? Okay. Let's go. It's hard to cross the river sticks. Yeah. Typically, you put coins over your eyes, not extensive legal documents of loans and who holds them. Uh, the Talos Side Bells are different in battle. Well, it's like the flavor text versus here's like what, who they are in combat. It's cute. But yeah, it's not often that you can tattle on someone in the overworld that you can then engage in combat. It's typically one or the other. Money too much to style back on the money thing. Yeah, you know what? Less money. Let's go back to barter and trade. How many bushels for a sub, streamer? <laughs> hey, Chaco Machima, thanks for 17 months. Barry, back. Shy Guy's back. Hey, thanks. Welcome back. Barter? Mm -hmm. It's just me with a wagon. Wagon full of pancakes. Let's go. It's mine. I want to fight him. Oh, I, I said don't, and he said you're a smart boy. No, I'm not smart. I want to fight. Let's go. How many subs for Caked Up DK? Yo, if we hit our sub incentive, we'll get Caked Up DK. Um, uh, Tattle. Yeah. It's an anti-guy. 50 HP, so I don't have to keep math in my brain. Um... Power? Wait, sleep. I was about to just... Yeah, sleep. Make him sleepy. It worked! He fell over for two turns. One turns. Um... Um, remember that thing I threw away that does damage to one person? Well, let's just power smash him. Now use Dream Eater. Yep. And smack the shit out of him. You teach you to fall asleep on the job. Why are you? He's back. He's back. But I can lullaby, I think. Dear Jesus. Cool. Well, we're dead. Uh, out of sight. You can lulla try. Is it just a chance? It's not 100%. Try again? I can try again. We got the star points. Are you there, God? It's a me, Mario. God damn it. 
Oh, that got me. Yeah! Yeah! Beat him up! Beat him, beat him up! Power smash! Boy, now would be a great time for... Mer... Mer... Lou Who or whatever her name was, to show up and be like, You're real strong now. Do quadruple damage for no reason. Gotta slap him! Merlovely. No, not Merlovely. The other one. The one in the town. In Dry Dry Outpost. Bam. That da da Out of sight. Mer- Is it just Merly? I think it's Merly. Marley and me. Merly on- Merlin- Mer- Merlonely. Game 3, Rosalina is the god of the Mario universe. She's the mother of the stars to turn to become planet stars even entire galaxies. I subscribe to that theory. Sure. Uh, why not? Um, power... Pa wait. No, wait. Fall asleep. Be asleep again. Please work. Yes! Let's go! Don't you can boss bosses optional otherwise. Oh. Uh, this technically counts as... Yeah, I mean, not technically. He's got 50 HP. Uh, power smash? Get him! Merloopy and Merlarpy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Slap him up. Da, da, da. Okay. Boy, learning he's weak to sleep makes this fight duable. Uh, let's just... We're good. We're good. We're not gonna kill him, so we'll just wait. Good fight. Hey, this is all thanks to chat. <laughs> I'll take it, but it was all chat. Um, oh, we're gonna... Uh, yeah. All thanks to chat, Rippo. Ow! <laughs> Just hit me once and I'm down. Ugh. Yeah! That'll teach you. Nice. Greg! You have impeccable timing. Thank you. Ooh. Hmm. Sixteen star points. Thanks. Thanks for star points. Thank you, Greg. Does chat want me to get some buff? When you buff upon a buff. Oh, that's way too quiet. Hold on. How's this? That's a little bit better. You can do better than that, Toad. Thank you. That's much better. Thank you. Yeah. He was walking into the room. Can we get a super fast buff? Yeah, sure. It's very fast. He's getting closer! Boop! One more. Alright. Uh, sure. Fuck it. Oh, he's dead. Hmm. Power plus! Increase jump and hammer powers by one? That's gonna be a lot of bup, isn't it? Isn't it a lot of bup? Six bup. Hmm. Anticlimactic. I see what you did there. That's what you get. I don't know what slow bup sounds like when you play the stream back at 0.25. Real slow bup. Real slow bup hours. Embrace power. I want power. But I would need to cl clear up another three additional points. Which I can do, but do I want to do? Hmm. You can give him a lemon candy and then you don't have to fight him. How would you know that? <laughs> Get rid of death. Decreases damage more ticks by one. I guess it does kind of replace that and it's just better. That does make some level of sense. Ideally, I would have both of them. But you don't need defense if you do more damage. Right? But if I get one more bup, 
we can afford the Fen Plus. Can't hurt you if they're dead. Just need to level up one more bup. But in the meantime, we can slot back in something. What do I want with this three bup? Uh, I guess I could put a spy back on. Maybe a speedy spin? Maybe a little bit of a speedy spin? I don't know. Listen. Take off damage dodge and get defense up. I like damage dodge. I like that, though. I mean, I get... Less, well... I guess if things are only doing a handful of damage... Then defend plus would just negate that. Fire resistance? Why? Well, well, I have ice power, which is... Yeah. Hmm... If you do the command, it decreases damage by one, or every damage is decreased by one. Yeah. Yeah. That do make sense. That do that it do. It do that it do that it do that it do. Let me shave. And we need to go to orange, red, or green. Let's do that. They perform more passive abilities or active abilities in RPGs. It depends on what they are and how it's set up. Generally speaking, I think I prefer passive. I'm assuming we can't go this way, but I'm going to try anyway. There's a track problem. We can't go that direction. You see that lever way behind us on the left? You can get over there and push it. We'll be able to continue. What lever? Oh, that one. Yeah. If you're confident, you're... Do you know what you're talking to? No. Um, yeah. No, I think passive upgrades are nice. It's almost akin, in my mind, to like a roguelike. Or a roguelite, more accurately. Where you're just getting like passive upgrades over time. That might... Like something like, you know, in, in Paper Mario, maybe an example is like being able to jump on a spiked enemy. That just opens up your options and is one less thing to worry about instead of this is a ability that consumes FP that lets you jump one time on a spiked enemy. You know what I mean? This is kind of like cleaner and nicer in my brain. Um, I think they were done here, so let's just go rightwards to green. There's a track problem. Oh. So then... How do I get across the tracks? Yeah, because Hades is a roguelite. Roguelites tend to lean on incremental permanent upgrades. Gourmet guy, you're right! Oh, yeah, how could I for gore? Well, I know. The answer's very likely. Eh! I did the exact same thing as last time when I was just so enamored to see this gentleman that I forgot all that I was doing and stood there and got hit in the face. Da, 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 da. Uh, sure. Teach you to stand there menacingly with a slingshot. Wise eyes are the. Uh, 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 jump. Leave no survivors, Bo. Bam. Gonna fight that souped up shy guy here. We just did, Ralvik. We literally just did. Not but a minute ago. And chat helped me cheese it hardcore. It was great. Because <laughs> I was terrible on my own. I think you should go for passives if they're available before actives, like funny, like active slots. Gotcha. Yeah. Have you fought the souped up shy guy full of soup? This guy? I don't want to fight him. He's a friend. I think. He did rudely complain about the mushroom I gave him. Have a cake. For Mario. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh! Delicious! This is lip smacking good! Nice. I got the cookbook. A book gourmet guy dropped. Show it to a good cook. Yeah, we don't know any of those. I want what he had. Cake. He had cake. And it was good. 
Eh. He flew the moon. He did. He blasted off into outer space. On account of how tasty it was. Yeah. Uh oh. That man's on fuego. Um. Yeah. I do need to tattle that man, and I intend to. It's a pyro guy. This is a pyro guy. They're on fire, so any contact with them will cause damage. Max HP 7, attack power 4, defense 0. They're tough opponents, mainly because their attack power is so high. Any attacks that involve water or snow are our best bet because, well, you know. He seems weirdly relaxed about being on fire. No! Damn it. Ow! Um. Uh, uh, yeah. Because this should do three to them now, right? Yeah. So actually, I take back that grunt. gruntle that I made. That disgruntle. Oh, I pro. I shouldn't. Mm. Well, don't I feel the fool? Grunt, grunt, I'm, I am gruntled. I'm in a state of gruntled, gr gruntlehood. Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, this is fine. I do have star bar. I do have star bar. I do have star bar. We're fine. Eh. Oh, maybe I should have swapped out Gumbario. Ah. Now we're good. Teach these shy guys a lesson. Bam! Should've called it a fry guy. Where were you 20 years ago when Nintendo was making this game? Fry guy is so much better than pyro guy. Wait. Yeah. I used my gamer brain. Uh, well, well, hold, hold on. Um, uh, maybe Bombette? Maybe Bombette, if we got more pyro guys. I was six 20 years ago. Well, you can work when you're six. Just, just buy some stilts and a trench coat. Uh, yeah. Bam. I was five 20 years ago. I win. I was two. I was... 13. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> old. Thanks. Oh, good. Good and great. That was a good flip he did. Why don't we just power bomb? Eh. Oh, that only affects people on the ground. Well, that's what I get for not looking at the screen as I mash through things. You gonna heal yourself? You gonna heal yourself? Oh, boo hoo, this is a war crime. You clearly don't know Mario. He cares not. Oh, god damn it. I once again dealing with the consequences of my actions of tapping buttons. Um let's just get let's just get to slapping. Let's just get to No, 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 I mm. At least they didn't fall into a family guy death pose, because that's what I thought happened, and my heart almost jumped out of my chest. Anyway, you there. Who? You impatient patsy. That that is not inaccurate. I heard a 22-year-old streamer say I finally watched that old movie Lord of the Rings. I mean, they're not wrong, but they don't have to say it like that. Eh. 
Mm. Oof. Oof is right. Whoa! No, wait. Hold, hold on! Wait! Shit. Um... Hey, Cooper, how you doing? Cause, uh, hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I've gotten used to the idea that things from the 90s are considered old now. It's retro. Um, but anything from the 2000s, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not used to dealing with that thought just yet. Gotta give me a little bit of time to adjust to the passage of time. Uh, power, power, power. This won't kill any of them, but you know, it'll look neat. So maybe I should prioritize taking out one and at least taking less damage from this, but as long as I nail it. We won't die, so we're good. Hey, let's refresh. The 90s wasn't that long ago. Just don't look at a calendar. People born in 2005 are turning 18 this year. Hey, yep. Man, there we go. 2015 was 19 years ago. Do you have any comment? No. Bubba Dubba Dub, is that true? Yeah. Um, yeah, I should probably just... Calendar's only for a year. Your calendars typically tell you what year it is. Let's just ignore that part. I love retro games like Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. Remember Among Us? That game's so retro. Eh. Oh. Eh. Now, see, why did you set that up like... Okay, well. Elden Ring was 18 years ago. You have to let it go. <laughs> Just call Fall Guys Retro Guys. Yeah. Only 2020 kids remember this one. But they wouldn't call it 2020s. They would just call it 20s. Uh, yeah, I'm old. Uh... I gotta, I gotta reach into my skull and massage my brain. That might make me feel better. Wow, old man, you you mentioned the the century as well. How old are you? <laughs> oh, back back in my day, it was the twentieth century. Uh, whew. I'm good. I'm good. Paper Mario, the game you're playing right now is exactly one week younger than me as a human being. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. No, that's... It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Only tens kids remember, Grandpa. I turned 40 11 days ago. Don't worry about the unstoppable march of time. That is... That is the takeaway. Don't worry about it. Uh... Let's just keep going. Although I will s just do this. And it's fine. Ocarina of Time turns 25 this year. Same as me. Time me out means stop me from stop time from affecting me, right? That's how it works, Timid. Now we're going. The train for the Mystic Ruins is departing now. I am nearly 30. Behold my agedness, my God. Yeah, I just turned 33. Doing great. Time stop. I once heard an eight-year-old or so call FNAF an ancient game, ancient at a GameStop once. I'm not into retro games like Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, I reject the notion that it's retro, but the first FNAF was a while ago at this point. To be fair, it's been a while. It does hurt. A lot. This is Green Station. I'm certainly feeling green. Shy Guys hit our tracks. How are we supposed to move? By the way, a shy guy with a book ran off to the right towards the slot machine. I'm sure that little rogue stole that book from someone. It'll be impossible to catch him until you figure out how to get through the wire fence. A fence? Well, no. Oh, well, they sure did. Original came out in 2014. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's... Wait, R FNAF's almost 10 years old? <laughs> oh... I didn't think it was that bad. 
I didn't think it was that bad. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're chat. Look at me. Look at me. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be okay. We'll get through this together. Oh boy! That's not how it happened. Remember, we haven't even been to Green Station yet. Feeling old yet, Boomer? You feeling it now, Mr. Boomer? An eight-year-old game to an eight-year-old is literally a lifetime ago. Yeah, I mean, when I was eight, I, tur I was eight throughout most of 1998. I was born in December 89. So, to me, an eight-year-old, a game from 1990? I don't know, that, that would have been like, because I, as a kid, played, like, NES and Super Nintendo at friends' houses. I had a friend who had his... It was his dad's. Uh, but he had an Atari 2600 in his room. That was his his gaming machine. And, like, man, games were games. I don't remember as a kid. It wasn't until I got a bit older that I really thought of, like, some stuff as being older than others. It just, like, wasn't a thought for me. Games were still new. I mean, it's, I, I, they were new to me because I was a child. I don't know. What came out in 96? Nothing. Zero games came out in 96. I was born in 2000, my brother in 1964. Mm-hmm. It's the same, Wire Mouse. I don't know how the hell I played Pokemon when I was five years old. I was saying 2001, even though I don't think the NES is that old. That's kind of what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't know. I think that kid's just an asshole. It's like two years ago, they called it Ancient as a six-year-old game. Yeah, that kid's just a jerk. That kid's just, he's just wrong. That kid is incorrect. Um, okay, what's the order for these? Mist and Star Fox? Yeah, Mist was 1990, wasn't it? Or 1991? Wait, no. Mist was on CD-ROM. That couldn't have been 1990. You learn it later? Oh. Mist had to have been like 93, 94. Right? I mean, it was quote-unquote before my time, because I wasn't exactly buying CD-ROM games. I was there, Gandalf. Mist was 93, okay. Because CD-ROM took a while to take off. Mist was one of those early games that kind of really popularized the CD-ROM for interactive video gaming. Although it might have also come on floppy? I don't know. There might have been a floppy version. Uh, uh, shit. These computers are a fad. Love them floppies. Don't copy that floppy. Or do. I'm not your dad. Uh, ooh. Uh, uh, yeah. I needed those three coins, damn it. Um, how do I get through this mesh fence? If only I had some kind of a partner who could render me incorporeal. Sweet. Eh. Could you be my dad, though, please? No. I'm busy. I gotta play Paper Mario. Horizon Zero Dawn is old enough to get a remaster. Are they remastering that? I didn't hear about that. News just talking about the internet as if we're a passing fad. I mean, to be fair, we all wish they were right. Right? Uh, Quake. Remember Quake? Yeah. Bam! I mean, technically any game is old enough to get a remaster if you re-release it and go look, these textures are higher resolution. Remember Quake? People still use that internet thing? I thought it died out in the late 90s. Sure did. Mystery note. Hold on. I, I don't like that... Apparently, I instinctively continue pressing the analog stick after I grab an item, and that removes text. A note written in a language you can't read. Show it to someone who's very smart. Hey, chat. What does this say? Having a mental crisis about age during the toy box. Yeah. <gasps> Slot machine. Oh boy. Well, oh, oh, no. Hold on. Eh. 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 It says scribbles. Pee pee poo poo. Oh yeah, I learned on on uh, um I think Cell on the Discord yesterday informed me that um uh because shit posts is a swear word, uh we have to refer them as, as um pee pee poo poo posts, 
which was then rapidly confirmed to actually be pee pee poo poosts. And I don't. I don't. No Amy's, no Amy's, no Amy's, no Amy's, no Amy's! No Amy? Okay, no Amy's, no Amy's, no Amy's, no Amy's. Not a whammy, but so I'll take it, but that's a whammy! Okay, I, as long as I don't get three whammies. Mm, no, I don't care for that, actually. My face when whammies not like this. Sweet! Whammies! Thanks, Kitsuda Siv. Damn it! Even with a time heist, I'm garbage at this. Is there a is there a rhythm to this or so, is there um a way to be better at this? It's like I have a sixth sense for being bad at it. Just time heist one block at a time. That's smart. Except I haven't gotten the first one as a star yet. Eh. Uh, Cause don't I want three star? I'm assuming I want three stars. Cool. Never got three stars. I have no idea. Do you not need it to progress? It's just it's just gambling for kids. Gambling. It's for kids now. Cool. I don't need those coins I got. I immediately hit it, and it's a shy guy. So if I go and then wait and then hit it, it's a shy guy. If I hit start, wait a bit. And then hit it. It's a star. Sure. Why not? Now this one. Oh, 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 we time heisting. Oh, we time heisting. You better believe we're heisting time. Oh, first try, boys. Let's go. Oh, my God. Better throw away that mushroom. No, I better throw away that mushroom. Better, better throw away that mushroom. What a waste of food. Nom 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 nom. Give me that. Can't take more. What did it cost? Everything. Ah. Wow. Kind of an underwhelming reward considering how difficult that is to do. When it has less value than just a single heart block just sitting there. So that's fun. Four parallel universes ahead of you. Get him! Yeah. I tried to hit him with my hammer. Oh! Two of them have hammers! Get him! Get him! Oh god. Oh no. Wait, no. See, see, here's. We can refresh and then power bomb them, and they'll still not be dead. Is it random what you can get? Yeah, lay it on me, Dave. Depends on who you're talking to, Craig. Blow them up. Blow them up. If only I had multi-bounce right now. Yeah. Decreased damage received. Hey, cool. Ow! 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 If you get all three, it's ten coins, ten shrooms, or five shy guys. Wait, 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 wait. If you get all three stars, which is absurdly difficult to do even with save states, there's still a chance they just give you shy guys? I do like to forget about Starstorm, thank you. That's not what they meant. Got it. For each icon. All three shy guys. Oh. Gotcha, you just said all three, and I filled in the blank wrong. Gotcha. Those are the rewards for, oh. Okay, got it, okay, that's fine. 
I see now. I thought you were saying it was random based on... Okay. Understood. Uh, let me... Yeah. I gotcha now. Who's on first? Remember, when I'm streaming, I'm easily confused. Just assume you're talking to a sleep-deprived child, and you'll have a rough approximation of how much you need to dumb things down to explain things to me. Uh, get him. That's why we're here for you. Thank you. Who was on second? I don't give a darn. Let's get Paracarry out of jail. We haven't seen him in a bit. Other than for when I need to have him to cross a gap. Look, Gordon, Paracarry. We can use this to traverse small pits. Kick him! Kick that medic in the face! If a postman does it, it's not a war crime? Well... Saying that out loud made it even worse than it was in my brain. Note to self, don't vocalize internal thoughts on the outside. Um... Oh, oh, wait, hold huh, huh. A small bird carrying over a small gap in our tail. Let's go! Let's fucking go- wait, no. Go up. Up. Do I need a... We ride, Paracarry! Good. Good work, good man. And... Yeah. 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 Wait. No. Wait. Come back. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So glad we did that. Wait, there's probably something up above, isn't there? Why else would this be an option? Yeah. Hmm? Hey, K.O. How you doing? Eh, eh. Oh. There's a little bit of delay, so I tapped it again. Um, you got anything better? Oh! <gasps> Soda pop. Wait, my inventory's full. I don't need a mushroom. We're at, we're full. I'll, or, or, or I throw out the mushroom and then just consume a beverage for the FP. Now I'm hydrated. Let's go. Dictionary! The scholar Rusty's dictionary, return it to him at once! He doesn't know what words are without it. He just seems- he keeps talking gibberish. Seems like I should be able to jump through the foreground here, and then that would lead, like, off to the right somewhere. I bet if this was in Thousand Year Door, they would have done that. Hey! Thanks, baby Kale. Hope you're doing good. Is FPP correct? Instead of super soda, what if it was soup or soda, where it's kind of, like, being boozled? And it's soup or soda, anyways, I'm taking investments on this idea. How much money are you asking for? For, for a, a round one investment. I'll give you everything I have. 3.5 million dollars, I'll give you three dollars. Um, I guess we need to go do some... Hmm. Get, get this man his dictionary back. Blue! If there's Chunky in my soda, someone's getting punched. What if it's Chunky Kong? Consider that. It's all I have after all that slot machine gambling. Listen, I needed to get those mushrooms. That's- that's- that, that's my gotcha curse. Carbonated clam chowder! Let's go! Now with Funky Kong mode. Yes. Yes! It's good! <gasps> Chet Rippo! It's Chet! Hi, Chet! While I spin and jump my way over... Um, Robo Baggins, thanks for seven months. Bees! Levi Phipps, thanks for a year. Enjoy your mild curse skeleton key. A whole year, time flies when you're having fun. Hey, I'm glad you're having fun. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Ha! Spin to win. 
Uh, Greg, thanks for the 69 bits. Nice. Unnamed trans goblings are 46 bits. Upside down bowl of soup, aka a wet lap. Time to take a lap. Thank you. Get some sit, thanks for soup. Did you know every Kingdom Hearts game came out on PC, but only on the Epic Game Store, so no one notices? But I want someone to mod Barvatar into Kingdom Hearts as a Heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you. Just that thought alone. Gave me a bad taste in my mouth. Thank you. Nerf Herder, thanks for 30 months. Enjoy your uh, uh, the outhouse key. I don't remember Paper View, but Paper Mario. Thanks for the Prime. Welcome back. Baby Kale, thanks for six months. Thanks for the Prime. Enjoy your golden key and the emotes, and welcome back. It's VBot, thanks for soup. And Purple Tuxedo, thanks for nine. Thank you for the Prime. Bump Bow. Bump Bow. What do you mean, Bumper? She's hanging out. She's a friend. I bought Kingdom Hearts and realized there wasn't enough space on my computer. Those are beefy games. Especially Kingdom Hearts 3. Looks like you need to download more RAM. Curses! Mario, a shy guy stole my dictionary. Please get it back from him. I'm losing IQ points. Well, if I give him the note for... No, I'll give him the dictionary. Well, now I'm, now I'm curious. Now I want to know. His what? I said what I said. You'd like me to translate this note for you, but I don't know how to read. It's written in the language of the Shy Guys. It reads... This would be an easy task if I still had my dictionary, but the Shy Guys stole it. You don't store data on the RAM. Sounds like you need to download more RAM. I'll tell you what, I'll take care of the note for now. No, fine. To think of my lovely dictionary in that Shy Guys' hands, please get it back for me. My dictionary! Wonderful words! Many thanks, Mario. Hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. Uh, your great road block. Because it's blocking our path. You're gonna remember, Barry. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> that's... Oh my god. That's what the Shy Guys note says. Oh, fuck. Oh, god. <laughs> I was not ready to read that. Woo. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We're okay. I'm all right. Uh... Oh, should we go? I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell a Dizzy. I'm gonna sell a Dizzy dial. Six coins, yes! Um... Uh, I'll keep that mushroom. I'll probably end up using it. Alright. Why the shark has not simply eat the note? Don't know. Oh, the cook be right. Thank you for the reminder. I don't know if there's anything in my inventory I want to cook right now. Because I, I seem to recall it being specific combos give you things, otherwise you just get like a standard item. Good heavens, that book you have! It looks like a cookbook! I could increase my repertoire in an instant with that book! Mario, if it's okay with you, may I have? Yeah. No, oh, I can have it! How delightful! With this cookbook, I can do use two kinds of ingredients at once, make even more fabulous dishes for you. Please bring me different ingredients so I can try out some new recipes. I've come up with a new recipe. What about like a mushroom and a fire flower? That's got that's got to be something, right? That's what save states were invented for. It's like the two most basic of things. A recipe. All right, Remy, get to cooking. Yeah, give me some spicy shrooms. Hmm 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 hmm. Bum. Recipe's not too bad. Here, please. I got a hot shroom. Well? All right, then. It's not a hot Amos. Don't you... I can make a hot Amos. Probably just need syrup and a fire flower. I don't think I have anything else to really combine... At this- at this time. Don't cook. Ever. Don't cook. 
They had cook on B, so I hit B and it put me back in the cook. I was excited to show you my cooking skills. You don't know what you're missing. I j you just Sh super shroom and a syrup. I need cookie and water. Yeah. Well, I make a mean hot Amos. The way my ma used to make. Takes me back to rainy days. Back on the homestead. Uh, super shroom and syrup. Shrooms and syrups. He does F H P and F P. Well, that's just convenient. Yeah, I don't think every combination of items is a thing. I think it's just a couple. I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking as if I remember things. Recipe's not too bad. Maple super. You needed a cookbook to make this? You took the two ingredients that I gave you, and you just poured one on the other. At least you're not charging me for the service. Egg and fire flour. Do I still have an egg in my inventory? I think I cooked the egg into a fried egg. I'll have to get another egg. Don't question the cook. Cooking's hard. After this chapter, we, we can dig into our storage and cook up all kinds of goodies. It's a lot. She had to put it on a very specific way. A very fancy drizzle. Eh. I need to go to green. I was about to ask what the combination is. Yeah, I'm gonna remember. <laughs> I have to remember. Uh... Um, just in case I somehow fuck this up. You're gonna remember, Barry. Good. <laughs> oh, man. It's not just that that's amazing, but it's just also the speed with which... ...that popped out of your brain into the chat. This is good. I remember. Well, I had a hell of a mnemonic to help me, so... To Red Station. Take me to Red. I'm out. All aboard! The code's random every time, so it's even more perfect. Wow. Fastest gun in the West. The shy guys that had the mystery note were also in the correct order? Um, that's clever. The other day I saw a gang of shy guys carrying a sparkling card of some sort in a cage. They headed off to the right. Do you think I ought to go check out what they were doing? Mm, no. No. Stay here. Alert the authorities and stay here. Well, they went to the right, meaning I should go left first. Uh, well, uh, do I need to do this? Actually, yeah, I need more... It's not quite bup, but it'll do. All the interesting stuff is to the right, right? It is. Eh. More fun points. That's what the F stands for. I'm susp suspicious of this block. The fact that that's clearly not a just a texture slapped on, but it's like... You're not supposed to be able to see that that's transparent. That's probably just the the emulator, but... Anyway, yeah. It's just weird that that's how it's set up. Uh, you need... No. Cooper. What? Oh, God. Um... Um... You, you, you well... He's gonna bunk! No, he's out of here. I wasn't being horny, I swear! Get that hammer away. And... yes. I need to remember that now that I have plus one to attack, jumping is best. Because that does six damage. Three and three. As opposed to my hammer's five. Meaning I should probably get... 
swap out my one of my hammer attacks for a jump attack badge for maximum power um yeah so that power smash i'll keep quake camera because it comes in handy maybe power jump instead that seems like an investment that makes sense yeah probably for this next fight i'm gonna need everything i got uh hey yeah Oh man, I'm gonna really need these coins, so... Hold on to something, Cooper. We're going in! You didn't hold on to anything, Cooper. I was watching you. Let's grab multi-bounce. Multi-bounce is one... Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Do I have anything I should swap? Uh, no. Well, now that I have 862 coins, there's a lot more pigs I can afford, so... That's gonna pay off dividends. Dividends! Um... Hello? No, wait, hold on a sec! Wanted to see what was in the block. Why I fall over? Uh, um... Hmm... I went... But... Yeah... I don't want more lads. And this should get him to swap off the hammer. Yes, good. I pressed the button. How dare you? I pressed the button. I pressed it real good. Doug dividends. Doug dividends. I'm gonna pay off in burnt ends. No! No! Okay. Well, I forgot that I don't actually have a fire. I thought he stole it. Even though that's not his mechanic. Hungry for inputs. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yum, num, 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 num. Hmm. 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 Deep focus. We using focus charges to energy more than usual? Not bad. Shame that I never use focus, though. I wouldn't have used it anyway. Well, I would have used it eventually, unless I just got it back from defeating him at the end of the battle, which is probably how it would have worked if he did steal an item. It's typically how they handle stuff. Wee hee hee hee. Someone has come. Indiana Jones has a phone. Oh my god, it's and Indiana snakes, Jones. And snakes and it's snakes, but he keeps living anyway. Till he falls in a pit and he quakes, cause it's filled with snakes. And if there's a reason I'm still alive, when the number of snakes here is five, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to snake for Thank it. Thank you very much, Kayo. Thank you, first of all, for the hundred bits. You know, I was thinking that as fun as it is, as fun as it is to dunk on Paracarry for being bad at his job, but damn. Mushroom Kingdom mailmen have it rough. They gotta cover the whole kingdom and surrounding areas. Just here's a bag full of letters with no logical grouping, nothing to close, nothing's close together. You have to fly over a mountain too. Good luck. Right? And, thank you for the hammy. These Shy Guy variants are everything to me and I love them so much. Oh my god. They are very, very good. Well, yeah, I, I, I said this, I think, I'll, I think I talked about it the most in the first stream of this game, but, um, specifically something with, um, this game compared to Thousand Year Door is like, Paper Mario 1 is very clearly the Mushroom Kingdom. And you have Goombas and Koopas and Boos and Shy Guys. Like, it's a lot of standard Mario enemies. It's maybe the best analog we have to the more recent Paper Mario games in terms of variety and characterization and, you know, what they, what they do with like, yeah, a lot of the characters are basic Mario enemies, but look how far they push them in different directions. Thousand Year Door, one of its great strengths is it's not the Mushroom Kingdom, and there's a lot of unique stuff that is only in that game. They made a lot of new species and characters and all kinds of stuff for that game. And it's what I love about it. One of the main things I love about it. There are a lot of returning Mario enemies, of course. Uh, some as NPCs, some as enemies. But, like, this one is very much the, like, kind of vanilla experience of, like, Paper Mario, Peach's Castle, penguins in the ice area, whatever it is, like, and there's so much, so many different kinds of toads in Toad Town, as simple as they are. One's a little chef, one's a little professor, and they got little outfits and different costumes, and it's like, 
we got like 3% of that in, in Origami King. And I was like, oh, that toad looks different. <laughs> he has his own name. Like, that's how broken I am. That's how much it sucks. So, yeah. Flavio is very good. So, yeah. Yeah, also they added things like Gulpins and Duplin Ghosts. Yeah. It's Ben and Jerry's Vanilla, so it's fucking good. Add to the counter. Yeah. So, anyway. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not interested... I feel like I need to say this explicitly, because people sometimes pop in and be like, oh, I, you know, I love Color Splash, or I love Sticker Star, whatever. I have zero interest in saying that you should not like those games. If those are games that mean a lot to you, or Super Paper Mario as well is a very weird game, I don't personally care for it. You can't say it's vanilla. It's a very strange game. Uh, tell me more about, like, Sticker Star, Color Splash, and Origami King, even though... Origami King took a step in the right direction, but still, compared to this... Not even as an RPG, I just mean in terms of, like, characterization and, like, variety. Um, still leaves much to be desired, IMO. So, Sticker Star is wrong. Well, I, I think so. But it's like, I, 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 I'm always only sharing my own opinion. Everything is always subjective. But I, you, I try to use objective truths to back up my subjective claims. Because that's interesting. That gives me some common ground we can debate or agree or agree to disagree over. Um... Where it's like, that's true, but I feel differently about it. Like, that's always what I'm looking for in a kind of conversation about stuff like this, but... Man, it just, like, revisiting this game, too, I'm just, like, constantly like, Look at them! Look how good they are! And, like, Origami King's like, Look, it's a shy guy made of paper. He's Origami. I'm like, that's fun! That's neat! I've never seen that before! And then that's kind of... The whole game? <laughs> it's, it was, like, very far into that game when I was like, Wait, no, there's a new thing here! Like, felt very spread out. So, anyway, Amiimo said, no, you're not allowed to make things. And man, what a terrible decision that is. What a, what a fascinating challenge to present to a team, and they did their best. But man, hey Delta, how you doing? Doesn't tire easily. Yep, it's good. Anyway, someone's here in the dark. Uh-oh, he's just a guy. Wee hee hee, could it be? Wee hee hee, it's Mario. Hello. Looks like you're mine, Mario. Wee hee, I won't let you go anywhere. Hey, look at this guy. This guy's fucking scary. Look at that cat graffiti on the wall. Terrifying. Bah. Oh. Lantern ghost enemies from Yoshi Island into its own unique boss fight. Mm-hmm. He collects amiibos, get him. I'll take care of you quickly, then return to my darkness. I hate the light, so I'll take you with me to the deep dark. If he hates the light, then why does he carry a lantern? Doesn't make any sense. Um, man, I sure am not doing myself any favors with my current stats. Let me at least do a little something, some of this. Exposure therapy. Oh, he's a Kingdom Hearts fan. Oh, it's dark light. Oh, this is actually a really bright room, but that lantern's making it dark. That makes sense. Deet, 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 deet. It's heavy. Yes. I can't, I can't tattle. Well, I can't, okay. It's too dark to tattle. Well. Ow! You can't tattle what you can't see. How does that work? Now I can tattle him. Big lantern ghost. This is a big lantern ghost. He avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Max HP 40. Attack power 5. Your friends, like ahem, me, will also be damaged when he does the flash attack. Its power is 2. Hit the lantern many times to make it brighter, then you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see, hit him right in the head. Now the big old bandage on his noggin. Ow, that light, it's so bright. This is no good here. Darker and darker. It's really just throw it off to the side. But sure, listen. You do what you gotta do. Um, This makes sense in my brain, because to me it's like, this is more attacks, technically, if each one counts as an attack. Yeah, there you go. Yeah! Yeah, there you go. Ah! Shit. Oh, look at Bob! <laughs> No, her eyes! Oh, no. 
Here's a ghost. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. More power. Oh yeah. Those are good stimps. Oh. Oh crap. Bow is still out of commission. Okay. Well then I should jump on it to make it brighter. Fuck. Don't. Ow. Very rude. Gotta say. Quite rude. 15 HP, 5 FP. Maybe I should have her... Well... Mm. Nah. Seems like a waste of the FP, but... Hmm. Get his Mimikyu looking ass, right? Galarian Mimikyu. Meh! Yeah, maybe, maybe fuck it. It's just a hot shroom. Easy to get those later. Eat that hot shroom, Mario. Hmm, you ever eat a hot shroom by yourself in the dark? Dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Guess I was wrong, apparently. Hey, I just did, I just did that. Do it again. You have a ghost behind you. You're right. I have a friend. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, I know. Do it again. Uh, yep. There we go. Kept messing that timing up. Finally blocked it. Jeez. Louise. Um... Oh, that is bright enough. Good. Slap the fuck out of his head. Yeah, get him, Bo. Yeah, get him. You gotta slap him. Da da da. Um. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And smell you later. Nice. Cast Ferraga. No! Well, he's gone. The extra dialogue if you break his lantern with Bombette. Oh. Uh. Hi, mister. I'm Watt. Can I, um, get out of here? Say, this is the lantern that belongs to the big lantern ghost. There's something inside. You think it'd come out if we broke it? I'm what? Can I, um, get out of here? <gasps> oh! Him, him, he, he. Yay, I got out. Yay for me. Thanks, mister. Hey, aren't you, uh, Mario? You just saved me like a hero. You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest. You saved me from the mean guy who laughed like wee hee hee. I laugh like hmm hmm hee. It's very different. I gotta make it up to you. I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the um shy guys saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser. You're super great. You're the greatest great guy. I think you're the best. So um, I really want to help. I'll be good, really. See, now I'm suspicious. At first, they were just like, wow, well, let me t let me get you back. But I'm like, you're real good. You're real, real great. Real great and good. The greatest great. What? What? Join your party. Press C down to have her illuminate the area around you. With her light, you can see invisible blocks, too. This art always makes me so happy. Who are we really to judge, right? What? Well, it's just a little girl. When, when in battle, she can shock enemies with Electro Dash or paralyze them with Power Shock. It's also one of the great things about this game is like your first party member is a Goomba. Second party member is a Koopa. 
third party members of Bob-omb. Getting a little, not, not out there, but like, okay, weird. The further in the game you get, the weirder the party members get. Like, they really covered all their bases from like, oh, cool, I have a Goomba in my party, to like, I have one of those, like, lightning shock things in my party. I didn't even know they were sentient. Okay, cool. Like, I love it. It's good. What is Goro? They're called hot Creeper, a oh man, so we back in the mine. Got a pickaxe swinging from side to side, side side to side. Sparkers. This task maybe? a grueling one. Hope to find some diamonds tonight, night, night. Thank you for the hammy. Here comes the best partner, the adorable toddler, little Sparky. What? Weird though, I thought little Sparky from Super Mario World was a fire enemy like the hotheads. She seems to be an electrical ball. Thought the blue thing was her nose. It's actually a pacifier. There's a super block just outside of this room. See if you can find it. I'll find it. Thank you. It's pretty dark here. I kind of like the dark. But uh, now I can show you how helpful I can be, okay? Use my power! Pretty cool, huh? It's so bright now! Hee hee hee. Yeah, I think I always thought it was a pacifier. Or maybe a very tiny boxing glove. Species is babby. I bet nobody else can help out like that, huh? Can they? Nope! Now let's go! I mean, Bombette could probably blow everything up. In these little flash of brightness. Eh. Eh. I always thought nose would pass fires way cuter. She's bad. She can reveal invisible blocks. Right. So she said. But I don't... I don't see any visible invisible blocks. Mario's a dad now. So maybe it's not in here, but it's out here. Ah. Well then. Oh. That's not what I wanted, but thank you. She's talking with a pacifier. Uh, she's using electrical signals to send messages directly to Mario's brain. Uh. Hmm. Burr, 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 burr. Does it make that badge useless now? Uh, no. Because... The badge for helping you find breakaway floors doesn't get revealed by her. Where, where's this, what'd you say? Super block? Never went up on the left. Can you get up on the left? I don't think I can get up on a there. Or do you do that from this side? Oh, you do that from here. There. I went past the place that I must go. There it is. Super block. Super. You can upgrade one of your party members. What do you want to upgrade? What? Just immediately upgrade her. Kind of nice. Uh, it says Heal Master Turbo Charge. Not even the game knows what's gender. Uh... Hill Master Turbo Charge to increase Mars attack power. Okay. Maybe they're just he, she. When you want to upgrade this, uh, yes, I do. Any all. I don't know. It's fine. I'm just going to go with she. What's upgrade? A super rank. Let's fucking go. Very strong baby. It's like peanut butter baby gone super saiyan. Babies cannot be trusted. <laughs> AC and DC. That's very stupid. What about second? Elevenses? Whatever. I see what you're doing there. On. Oh. Sure, that's fine. On. Eh. That's true. Vivian is trans. Not within the the uh, the U.S. release. Unfortunately. Eh. She's not in this game, though. In case you're wondering. Oh, that's a lot of gentlemen. Oh God, I destroyed their. Home. 
Thank you, chat. They scream! Eh. Eh. Why am I searching? I can just... Oh. 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 Uh, oh, I, I understand. I see what I must do. Boom. A shooting star. Good. You can Cooper the Looper. It's true. Uh, well, uh, 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 sure. No. Get him. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a lot of people. Cool. Um... Hmm... Hmm... <laughs> I can't do multi-bounce, because I'll step on fire and go ha ta 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 Or like he goes in sunshine. Where he's like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, I was a little bit loud. Um... Do this! <laughs> Tag yourself. <laughs> Which one are you? Camo guy, fire guy, jester guy, or... Floating in a heart-shaped clown car guy. I'm that rocking horse in the background. Personally. Uh, yep. Yeah. Truck freak. <laughs> oh, once a truck freak, always a truck freak. Yeah. I'm Mario. It's a me, you would say? Good. I wanted him to be stronger, so it's a fun fight. Thanks. I'm the cat graffiti that is not present on this screen, but is otherwise very good. Ow. There's a bug that might cause the game to crash if you die with Watt as your partner letting you know. Well, I'll try to be careful with save states. They might have patched that for the Switch version. I should probably just get out of here. It was fixed, gotcha. Just don't die. Never have, never will. Um, I'm a gamer. I time heist if I fuck up, thereby gaslighting in the game into thinking I'm still alive. Works like a charm. I'm gonna go back and grab health. Sleepy sheep. Got any, got any other, got anything else here? This would be a great place to hide an extra thing, but. Sure. Weirdest description of safe state ever heard. Listen, am I wrong? No. And if I am, I'll just gaslight chat into agreeing with me. Is the Mandela Effect accidental self-gaslighting? Yeah, I'd say so. I is a sleepy sheep. Should have a little nap. Uh, is super guarding a mechanic in this game? Not to my knowledge. Wow, they are having a bad time. Literally just screaming. I wonder if they're in the ah block. It's a very loud block. Oh, there they are. Run for it! Wah! Help me! Oh. Well. They're afraid of the babby. So you came, did you? I'm General Guy. We're following the orders of King Bowser by guarding a star spirit. It's a very fun theme. Every level should have that as background noise. It's very relaxing. As long as we keep it secure, we have permission to do whatever we want. You hear? I don't care for you, sir. You are rude, and furthermore, you're trespassing in here. Our toy box is off limits to the likes of you. The treasures inside this box are for shy guys only. And that star spirit's fate is none of your business. Prepare to fight me, sir. Taste your feet. I'd rather not taste your feet. Charge!
Watts attack ignores defense. Damn. Okay, guys, all together now. Let's rush him. Charge! Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shy squad. Oop. Well, I would- I wish to tattle upon them. General guy's real good! Identify a group of people to me. This is the Shy Squad. It'll attack us with all members at once. Max HP 15, attack power 1, defense 0. Number of times we're attacked will equal the number of guys in the squad. Its attack power is huge when there are many guys. It drops for each one that falls. Let's use an attack that does tons of damage so we can decrease their numbers and increase our chances. Alright. Well, if they do one attack, won't I take no damage? The answer is yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're okay. Get him, Goombario. Yeah, they're just padding aggressively. We're gonna lose! Oh no, we gotta run! Good fight. Wait! Stand your ground, men! Now's no time for cowards! I will not abide deserters! Kinda wish they just cowered behind Mario. You men make me sick! We must protect the toy box! Am I the only one with guts? Mario, you, sir, will pay! You're pat for this. You beat my infantry, yes, but that's all you do. Prepare for the next wave! They're so tall! Go attack, stilt guys! Fight, fight, fight! Yes, sir, right away, sir! Meep, meep. Oh, I can only look at the stilt guys. This is stilt guy! Yes, as the name suggests, stilt guys are shy guys on stilts. I mean, it seems pretty obvious to me. Max HP 7, attack power 4. If, you're, if you attack them by shaking the ground, they'll fall off their stilts and become normal shy guys. That's useful information. Thank you. Oh. Get him! You get him! Yeah, bam! Wah. Fuck! Hit! <laughs> Why did he get applause? What does he have that I don't? He did do a good flip. He did a cool flip. I do flips sometimes. No one likes jealousy. <laughs> Grr, unbelievable! I guess it's time for my special battalion. Oh my god. Oh my- Ooh! Who is she? Oh! Ha! Oh! Yeah! Ho, 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 ho. I pity you, sir! It's time you paid, Mario! It seems it's time to pay for the scrumptious meal of this knuckle sandwich. The check is on the table, Mario. Attack! Yes, sir. Uh, oh. Have a good time out, Magoo. And have a good VOD. It's Dr. Shy Guy Tower. Uh, Shy Stack. Why don't they serve flapjack shy stacks at the Mario Toad Cafe at Super Nintendo World? Think of all the movies they sneak into. There's a shy stack. Whoa! This pile has an incredible sense of balance. Look at that stack. Max HP 10, attack power 1. Its attack power equals the number of guys in the stack. It will be 4 if there are 4 guys. If you have the spin hammer, you can knock them off one by one. Obviously, their attack power decreases when there are fewer of them in the stack. I did not equip the spin hammer, no. So instead, I will do a jump. Damn it. Oh, the individual. Oh, I get. I get it. I see. 
You can knock them out and that'll just reduce their attack. That's clever. That's just science. But they attack all as one! Instead of one at a time. Man, that one sample that Nintendo loves to use in their music. I don't know what you would call it. The one that's like, boop, 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 boop. I'm like, that is just my aesthetic. It's very good. Gah, girl, fine, I'll beat you myself. Yeah, that thing. You know that thing? That guy. The DK Howl, I call it. It's the whoop, 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 whoop. Nobody embarrasses the brave shy guys of my army. Nobody. Yes, he did say Gargura. He sure did. Oh, he's in the tank now. General guy. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but look, look at that little uh, bing, bang, bing, je ne sais quoi. This is general guy in his tank. The tank seems to be dangerous enough, even though it's a toy. HP 30, attack 4, defense 2. Not only does that general give commands from the tank, he also throws bombs and uses electric attacks. The power of his electric attack is 5, and your party member takes 2 damage points. Defend yourself carefully. He'll lose the electric attack if he break the light bulb. Normal fighting styles seem ineffective because the tank is well fortified. So bring out Watt and target the light bulb. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You get it. Ow. That was much faster than I thought it was going to be. Do again. Eh. Nice. Well, that solves that problem. The only way an enemy ignored the fence. You mean a party member? Yeah. Penetrate defense power and attack an enemy with electricity. If it works, paralyze an enemy with an electric shock. Electrically boost Mario's attack power for a short time. That sounds kind of fun. Let's Electro Dash. Hold A down, release when the button lights up. Yeah. She was just born. My god. Grr. My high tech tank defenses don't seem to stand up to that electric attack. Quit doing that. It's too powerful. You're breaking the rules of war. It's not how that works. Now. My health bar is nice. Um. Nah. Mm. How about, how about we do power shock, turbocharge, sure, press A as it lights up. Oh, I was late on those. I was like, why is he doing an X? Thought I did it. And now we, um, have some, some maple super, I think. Yeah. Delicious. I figured I might as well use, spend some FP before I do that. I was ready this time! Okay, uh, jump upon. Or may maybe, maybe hammer upon, because that'll do more damage in one attack. It's got high defense. Yeah! And then do. Stop with La Bomba! Attack power is normal now. Good. I want it to be. Yes, yeah, so that does one. This is two damage total. Or if I hammered, I would do. Wouldn't it be two damage as well? I think it would also be two damage. Norm L. Don't say normal. Three with the. Okay. I thought I'd do five. Oh, is this defense two? Oh. Yeah, some major Garfield damage with this one. Zap him. Oh? This defense was too. Right, okay. Nice. Uh, refresh. Nah, we just kill him. <laughs> I th I, unless he's got a self-destruct. I think we'll be okay. Blow him up, lot. Aye, aye, Captain. Nice. God damn it, Greg. <laughs> How are you doing this? Oh, God, thanks. Nice!
Now I'm thinking we should probably level up. Something other than our gaze is dead. He's gonna get slowly buried in confetti. Never not bup. Well, it's dead. One of these times I'm gonna level up my HP again. Bup maxes out at 30. Oh, okay. So we're not even that far away. Yippee, we beat the shy guys. Him, 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 he, he, he. You weren't so tough, you silly old shy guys. I beat him up, didn't I, Mario? I've learned the taste of blood and I wish for more. You got it, what? You got it. 20 HP isn't bad. I mean, I haven't been one shot. Like a little sailor star. It's good. This is quite an open space. Kind of resembles a toy arena, don't you think? What's a toy arena? Beyblades? Remember those shy guys we fought here? They were tough. Of course, they weren't as tough as us. Yeah, I suppose so. Isn't confetti bits of flesh in this universe? Well, yeah. Fourth or fifth season of Stellar Moon. Nice, making good progress then. End of chapter. To save the fourth star spirit, Muscular. He is pretty buff. Mario and team disbanded the gang of Shy Guy Toughs. I've not seen that. No, Squeaks. Slowly, it seems as if the life force is returning to the once bleak night sky. But the stars won't truly shine until the star rod is wrested from Bowser's evil grasp. Three star spirits still await rescue. Where in the world are they being held? I wonder. I wonder. Meanwhile! Peach! Hey, Twink! Those guards have stopped paying attention to us again. Princess, I keep telling you that's not my name. Let's sneak out of here. We might be able to find some news to help Mario. Do you think it's still safe to use that secret path? Don't you think Bowser figured it out by now? It's still all right, Twink. Bowser hasn't noticed anything. He looks scary, but he's basically a major bonehead. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go. Let's skedaddle. Good night, Bonoriolo. He's bone zoning. He's just hanging out here doing a bone zone. Where are we even going now? Um, ah. Well, this is the Lybar B, right? Yeah. Don't don't think there's anything for us in here. Bones are trying places you haven't gone before. I will. Let me start by going to a place I've already been to. Was it turned like that in 2001? I believe so. Uh, no. I probably should have just put down a save state at the front door. Hey, look, there's nothing new here. Cool. Aren't I a fool? You fool! No, this game certainly did not. Eh? Where is he? There he is. There you go. Let's just fall behind him. Keep up the good patrol. Good work. Even this song has the whoop in it. It's a good noise. <laughs> uh, Metasaur, thanks for 16 months. Bear, are you rule breaking? I would never. Thank you, Greg. One small thank you. It's locked. You can't open it. Not even a little. 
1963. But, huh? Who are you? Guess who it is, chat. Guess who it is! Why, I'm Princess Peach, and who might you be? Oh, you're Princess Peach. Everyone calls me the gourmet guy for some reason. I don't know. It's the boy. I guess I'd better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave your room. But I am really hungry. Tell you what, I'll keep this a secret if you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but I have no ingredients and no intent, no utensils. That's no problem. There's a kitchen one floor down, a one floor below us. It's five star. Yeah, I know. I live here. You can go cook there. Here, you'll need this. This key will open the door that leads downstairs. Now you can get into the kitchen. Meh. The castle key. Feet twink to him. So I'll just sit here and wait for my yummy meal, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot. There are plenty of guards downstairs, so be careful. This man's got his priorities. Oh, I can wait. I can't wait. Check the door the right. All right. Can do. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Deep focus. Mario does have one of these, but, you know, he can have two of these. Looky there. That's a beautiful crafted treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is a mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious? A mysterious treasure chest. That's right. This chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Oh, so it's an ender chest. I can make one of those. Wow, that's really cool. Where's the other treasure chest anyway? Uh, where is it? I can't remember. Do you remember chat? Oh. When did she get Power Rush? Well, yes, I remember. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was doing a bit. <laughs> Why didn't she put herself in the box? Presumably, you have to wait for someone else to open it, so she might just be laying in there for forever. You're gonna remember. This is that mysterious treasure chest, isn't it? Yes, it is. So if I have this right, you can put something in here and someone can take it out of the other one, right? Maybe Mario could get whatever you put in here. Maybe. What can I put in? What can I put in, Twink? What could I put in? Get back here. Get back, get back here. Get in the box. Maybe you can't transport sentient beings. Uh, no. All right, don't think there's anywhere else we can go up here. Hit, hit. Down we go. Hmm. Hmm. It's locked. Should we go to Bob and Battlefield? Or Womp's Fortress? Try to see if we can do the secret slide room. If that's still here. Hello, is anyone in here? You wanna go, Jolly Roger? You got it. This place is haunted. Hmm. Oh, treasure. Oh no, I'm caught for sure! Keep it down! Huh? Princess Peach, you're okay! Thank the stars! And press, press C. You're a toad from the castle. How long have you been hiding in here? Well, since Bowser took over, I was so scared of being caught that I jumped into his closet. I'm hiding here until Mario comes and saves us all. Hold on. That soda I drank in there, it's coming back. Whoa. Apologies for the burp. Princess Peach, you ought to hide too. It's risky out there. Please don't take any chances. What's he doing? Nobody's in here! Go away! Last stand badge. Half the damage when you're in danger. That sounds good. People can survive in the closet for a long time, just not well. Well. 
There's a hidden Mickey in the clock. Let's go to Womp's Fortress. No. I need to go to Womp's Fortress. Stop it. Thank you. Oh. Maybe we should go back and go to Bob on Battlefield. Look up at the ceiling. How could I do that? Here's the kitchen. So, what shall we do first? Remember the basics of CQC. Princess Peach, this looks like a good cookbook. Let's use it, okay? He doesn't know how to read. Look at him go. How's it look, Twink? Anything look really yummy? Hang on a second. Okay, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Sounds good. Let's whip one up. For Mario. Okay, Twink, read me the recipe. Well, looks like a picture of a cake. Listen carefully. First, sugar and eggs in a bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you finish, let me know. We'll move on to the next step. All right, see you later. We're in the middle of the recipe. Where are you going? I want to see what's at Bob and Battlefield room. Well, I gotta put some wine in there. Alright, uh, flour, sugar, salt, egg, milk, strawberry, cream, butter, cleanser, detergent to wash utensils, water. Hmm. He said uh, sugar and eggs, right? Wait, flour and eggs? Hmm, cleanser. I already forgot what you're saying. Sh why would you start with sugar? Cleanser? Make me work here. Salt and eggs. Put that in the in the bowl in the bowl. Where's the, is this the bowl? That's a weird bowl. Oh, there's just no prompt for it. Egg. One egg. Done. Yes. We're gonna need some cheese and ping pong balls in that one. Now, mix and whip the ingredients in the bowl. Mix the ingredients in the bowl. All set. When I say start, press A as fast as you can for 10 seconds to mix the batter. Are you ready? Yeah. Start. Shit. Mash the fuck out of that button. You just gotta beat the living hell out of those eggs. You gotta mash it. That's it, great job. Did it go well, Princess Peach? Yes. Let's go on to the next step then. Now, put flour and butter in the bowl. Go ahead, Princess. Just let me know when you're done. We'll move on to the next part of the recipe. Flour. Flour. Eh. And, um, butter. Give me the butter. What kind of pastries do you really love? All? Is that a valid answer? Peach starting to scream that was creepy. Good! Cleanser! <laughs> After you've mixed the ingredients in the bowl, pour it into the pan. Pour it in the pan. Yep, there you go. Cleanser. There you go. Good. On to the next step. Now, bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. Head over to the oven. You gotta time this. You can put the cake in the oven with ah. Press ah again when you think 30 seconds has passed, then take the cake out of the oven. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful. Please put it in the oven. Oven the... Why, hey Twink, why are they, why do they call it oven? No, I'm just gonna count. All right, three, two, one, uh, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 
I hope that was 30 seconds. 29 seconds, one star. Put the cake on the table to cool. I hope so too. <laughs> it has wiggle room, I hope so. Um, this is the last thing to do. We're going to decorate with cream and strawberries. Let me know nice. when you're all finished decorating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Creme, la creme. Put the creme upon the cake. Just slap them on there. The strawberries. Oops. Done? No. I accidentally tapped off. Ah. Eh. Slap them on there. Yeah! Didn't put in any cleanser at all. I know. The time is stored as an unsigned int. It rolls over to four and a half years. I remember seeing that video. Yeah. So, so, the, the, there, there's a value in the game's memory that counts up. And, um, that's what uses the track. How long you've uh, cooked your, your, your cake for. Baked your cake for. Um, so if you allow it to overflow and reset back to zero, then count up to 30 seconds, it counts as valid. And, um, yeah, it takes four and a half years to overflow. So you can cook the cake for 30 seconds or four and a half years and 30 seconds, and either are valid in the game's logic. Just like real life. I'm done. Yes, we made it. Looks great. Let's take this to gourmet guy. Yeah. I have to just sneak through the castle. You could also do nine years and 30 seconds. That's true. Here you go. Video games are stupid and perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. I haven't eaten a day in my life. Don't drop it. Thank you. Nom nom nom. No! Pff, disgusting, this is awful. Shit. Where'd you learn to cook? Truck driving school? Just cause I'm a truck freak. Go back to the kitchen and follow a recipe or something. Forgot the cleanser. Blap! This wasn't baked for the right length of time. I guess I counted my seconds too fast. Listen, baking is the most important part of cake making. You have to time it properly. Oh, back we go. But listen, honestly, I wanted to see what was, what was in Bob on Battlefield. Never mind. I'm not allowed to check. This time we're gonna make a delicious cake, right? We sure are. I know I can. Okay, Twink, bring me that recipe again. Yeah, I'll just save state it. Flour and butter. The actual baking part needs some work. You're both full of batters right over there. That's kind of nice, they just skip it ahead. Mix it lightly and pour it in the pan. After you pour it in the oven, in the pan, oven out the hot cake. Out, out, hot, eat the... When... Uh, Greg, thanks for 69 bits. Palak, thanks for 69 bits. Rain Penguin, thank you for 69 bits. Good thing this kitchen set up for strawberry cake. If we were set up for a fish pie, we'd be fucked. Bake it for 30 seconds. We gotta preheat the oven. You can't just put it in, count to 30, and take it out. It'll still be warming up. Cake in the oven with ah. Hey, again, when you think of 30. I'm just gonna look at my stream uptime counter. You can't redo it. Yeah, well. Shows what you know. I'm assuming the timer starts when the sound effects start, not when I actually press A. So, I'll just. All right, I need to take it out at 3.25, oh, three or four or something. You can bake a cake in a cold oven. Listen, you can do anything you want. Or we can wait for four and a half years. How much time do you have, chat? A few more seconds. Let's go to like, oh, six. Yeah. Four and a half years subathon stream. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hopefully that was good. All right, decorate it. Put a little cleanser on it. Put some extra salt on top for flavor. So if you cook it correctly, but then you put a bunch of salt and cleanser on it, do you skip the baking part and then get to decorate it again? That'd be fun. I'm ready to be 35 already. Hell yeah. Just a couple eggs on top. Here you go. If you spit this out, I am going to cry. Just letting you know that right now. We could poison him. Ooh. It's a fun idea. Way past delicious. That was really good. <laughs> a pinch of salt and whipped cream actually tastes darn good. I believe you, actually. Not a lot. Maybe a little. I mean, because salt and sweet worked well together. He's got the zoomies. I haven't felt this way since, well, earlier today. I mean, ever. To show you my gratitude, I'll tell you a secret. Puss, 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 puss. One of the star spirits is inside Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. It's to the south, around all the lava. You should tell this to Mario. But you better tell him that there's also a nasty lava piranha guarding the star spirit. He better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. That's why I'm telling you this. I gave you a good cake. Just like a princess. Ashish. Lava, 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 lava. Twin, did you hear that? Ah, lava, lava. Lava, lava, lava island. The star spirit's being held inside Gulla Gulla Island. Gulla Gulla? Gulla Gulla. Mario could really use this information, huh? He could. Twink, I'm sorry I keep asking you to do this stuff, but can you go tell Mario? Of course I will. I'll do it right now. Just break through the glass. Psh. I'll be back soon, Peach. What's with all the shouting? Keep it quiet in here. The toad was yelling from the other room. It was you, Princess Peach. You've got to keep it down. You're a prisoner. As prisoner, you need to keep... What? What are you doing out of your room? Why are you out of guards? Why is she out of her room? She's out of her room. Go back to your room. No. Phew! Wow, well, fresh air. After being cooped up in there for far so long, I could really use some outdoor exercise. My name's Muscular. Mario, I must thank you for saving me. Now it's my turn to help you. Behold! Check out these muscles. That does help me, thank you. Mario's stun energy goes up to four. He can now use Chill Out, a new star spirit power. With Chill Out, you can lower the attack power of all enemies. Call me whenever you find yourself in trouble. I'll always come quickly to aid you in battle. Now I'm going back to my dear old Star Haven. Mario! Mario! Mario, Mario, I have news! News from the castle! <gasps> Honorable Star Spirit! Hi! Hmm. I believe you are Twink, no? You're that youngster who recently ascended from Starborn Valley up to Star Haven. What? You remember my name? Ah, why, of course. We're like family. I... I'm so touched. Ho, ho, ho. Don't make such a fuss, lad. I'm sure you'll go on to do great things. I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink, Mario, other. Goodbye. My name's Watt, by the way. Wow, I talked with Muscular, the Honorable Star Spirit. I rarely have such a chance even at Star Haven. I'm shaking. Lesson here. Did he call Mario a twink? Yes, he did. I'm sorry, I have some important news from the castle. According to the information Princess Peach and I got, it seems that one of the honorable star spirits is being held at Mount Lava 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 Island. He just calls all the small stars twink and happen to get lucky. <laughs> you're, you're that twink, right? That's my name. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Good work, muscular. You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. 
my god. She went all bum 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 and then was all like dun 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 and then went bum 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 and then baked the cake. I hope it will be of help. Mm-hmm. I'm going back to rejoin Princess Peach now. Mario, as always, good luck. The princess and I will keep looking for useful information. Boop, 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 boop. And Gourmet Guy was really rude. She went bup. Local gossip is that there's something like an island afloat at the port. Others say it's a monster. How frightful. It looks like I won't be walking there for some time. Hmm. The port, you say? Huh? Mario, you're trying to go to Lava Lava Island? Good luck, you're completely wasting your time, though. Lava Lava Island only exists in rumors spread by idiots. <laughs> I don't know why that got me so bad. I, I guess I wasn't expecting him to be so fucking brutal about it. Just like, oh, it only exists in a far-off realm surrounded by fog and mystery. Good luck getting there. No, it exists only in rumors spread by idiots. Thanks. Cool. A figment of imagination. Only morons talk about it. Oh, no, I'm talking. Look what you did. Look what you did. What's that? You want to go to Lava Lava Island? Yeah, Lava Lava Island. I'm pretty sure that's an island way south of here. There aren't any ships that go there from Toad Town. You better have strong arms because you'll have to swim there. <laughs> that's impossible. If there's a person who can swim there, I'll eat a fuzzy. Also, now everyone that talks about Lava Lava Island is, by this Toad's definition, an idiot, so... <laughs> what is he say? I don't know. Everyone's an idiot. This guy's pretty wary. He doesn't believe most of the rumors people spread. But he wants attention, so he listens well and keeps the rumors alive. Yeah. If you're going to travel far, you really should get healthy at a Toad House first. And you should stop by a shop and get some items. And brush your teeth. Maybe comb your mustache. Don't forget to save, too. Thank you, Toad. <gasps> Chet Rippo! It's Chet Rippo right there. He's right there. Hey, Mario. About Ralph's badge shop. I've heard it said that there's lots of badges there. Might be a good idea to go there often, you dig me? I could dig. It's Chet. I'm your biggest fan, Chet. Mario, 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 have you ever met the postmaster? I just had lunch with him at the restaurant at the port. He told me that the postman who just started working for them is always making mistakes. He said he's pretty worried, and he hasn't shown up to work in, like, a week. Well, but you know what? He didn't look worried. He was smiling when he said it. He must be happy he's finally found a successor to take over his job. Maybe he can retire soon. Anything to say about that, Parrot Gary? He's just... He's just smiling. Well, the shy guys are gone. Strangely enough, I feel kind of lonely when it's so quiet. Ah, uh, nothing like a day without hordes of galloping shy guys running about. Thanks for dealing with those mischief makers, Mario. Shake, shake. Have a good one, Dave. It's really excited about firing Paracarry. I heard Tasty increased her repertoire of recipes. I wish I had her skills. Of course, even she doesn't always know how a dish will turn out. When she uses a mystery ingredient, it's anybody's guess as to what will appear. Sometimes the result is good, and sometimes not. Hmm. Now I've decided to become a ship captain, because trains have to stay on the tracks, you know? You can go anywhere on the sea! Ahoy! Full steam ahead! You're so small. So full of ideas. What, what, what won't you do? I have this friend who really loves to fish. Every time I go to the port, there he is, fishing. Ever meet him? I'm keeping my eyes open for any little movement on the shy guy front that won't catch me off guard. I've been hearing good things about the badges over there in Ralph's bad shop. Have you been there recently? I guess I, I don't know if their stocks changed because I didn't buy anything, did I? Oh, I did buy the, the well, no. FP plus, jump charge, boot. Yeah, I'm good. Why Toby sound like Mickey? I can only do like three voices. You know this. Toad Town Newsflash. What shy guy problem? What shy guy problem? Mario trounces thieves. The little larceny lovers known as shy guys have finally quit terrorizing the town. Mario tracked them to their toy box hideout, valiantly dispersed their ranks, and managed to rescue an imprisoned star spirit. The sheep boots do look cozy. Cozy. To those who would prey on the innocent and weak, we say this. Mario will prevail. Mario stinks and he smells bad. Sincerely, Gossip Toad. 
I've come back. I'm sure you missed me. I've got a foolproof plan for coins. See you on the road. Kent C. Koopa. Uh huh. Mario will sue. Um, let's, we can save. Other than maybe cooking stuff. I'm wondering if there's anything we should really try to do before starting the next chapter. Because I could do some more Koopa Koot. I'm sure we unlocked more of those fucking nonsense. We do have some pigs. I feel confident the cast will be back soon. And these days will seem like a dark dream. Pure fantasy. It doesn't stop me from wishing from the bottom of my heart it will happen someday. How many... I have 30 star pieces. We have enough for the nice thing. We've been down in the sewers. Um... We're missing one partner to keep traveling to the right? But I don't remember... Oh, I could have keep going to the left. But I stopped fighting dudes. Chapter 4 is a pretty quick chapter, yeah. Oh, way up here. Oh wait, I should... <gasps> the thing! Wow. Give me that. And wow. Give me that. Do we upgrade Watt in the sewers? Oh, there was an upgrade down there. But we already upgraded Watt. So... I think we can't, because that's not a, like a super upgrade block. They poop and pee in a space. I'm Merlot. Um... Yeah, now we can do... We can get this. It is very expensive. It's gonna cost 6 BP again. But I could just buy it and then not worry about it till we can afford to equip it. Kingdom Hearts Tamagotchis are the key to all of this. It is 6 buff. But I've been saving the whole game to buy it, so I'm just gonna buy it. You'll need six bup. Yes. Thank you. Why don't we swap some more? <gasps> Ooh, attack effects, eh? Um... I did kind of want heart finder. Maybe we're good without... Give me that. Ooh, we could say hi to Chet! We could say hi to Chet. That is always an appealing option. Chet could- Chelp heals all wounds. Gumbario, you good? <laughs> Just got- Door closed on him. Uh, yep. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna make this game sound really good. That's good. Yeah, we can go back to- to Luigi's diary. I'm playing on the Switch Online. Primarily for save states and because I finally got the N64 controller for it. I'm using it. Using it. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, and, and we probably yeah, we probably got mail. We weren't able to check last chapter because the shy guys. Ah yes, hello. Well, Seems that you have received some mail. Which letter would you like to read? Oh my god, a lot of mail. Everyone but Bomb Pet got a letter. Oh no. Goomba! Here you go. Dear Goombario, how goes the adventure with Mario? Is it fun? Are you being a brave Goomba? Check the book while Luigi was still there. I didn't know you could. Send her some letters. Remember to relish your time out in the wide world. Grow wise from your travels. I wish to the stars that your adventure will prove to be a fruitful one. If you can, drop in on us old folks now and again. Gonna Goomba misses you terribly. I'm looking forward to seeing you as a grown-up. Goomba. Give me more! You want to update to buy something? And I do have infinite time-heisted money, so... Fair. You can't check it again after that point? Well, we could. Safe state. Coover! There you go. Dear Cooper, how goes the adventure? I can't believe you're hanging with Mario. I'm so jealous. Cooper Village is the same. Colorado's wife is impatiently awaiting Colorado's return. She still doesn't have a name or identity outside of being his wife. You and Colorado, you guys have so much excitement in your lives. You're so lucky. <sighs> anyway, good luck, buddy. Coover. More letters. 
This is a letter from me to Paracary saying, why have you not come back to work? Here you go. Dear Paracary, thank you for always delivering my mail despite snow and ice. Because I live in this cold valley so far from my family, my, the letters I receive are my greatest pleasure in life. Kind words from my wife and daughter give me the strength to continue my work. My heart leaps with joy every time I hear the sound of your wings. May you never molt! Your fan, Frosty. So you coming back to work or... Okay, never mind. All the boos of Gusty Gulch work together to write a letter. Dear Lady Bo, thank you for rescuing us from that horrible tub of blubber up in Gusty Gulch. We'd never dreamed we'd meet a boo of your stature. The sight of you alone would have been enough to keep us going, but you went ahead and defeated tub of blubber too. We thought that our friends were done for when they were eaten, but they've all returned. Many thanks. When you're done with your quest, we're throwing you a party. Please come. It'd be awkward if you didn't. And please say hi to everyone at Boo's Mansion. Gusty Gulch Booze. We'll keep the letters for you. Thank you. Frosty the Snow Toad. It's a good lad. We briefly met Frosty at the beginning of the game. Oh, was he in the uh, in Peach's Castle? Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of little foreshadowing in there. Where is brother? Oh. Whoop. What was that about? Hi, Mar, you doing okay? Don't worry, bro. I'll watch the house until you get back. Uh-huh. You reading my letters? You might have been reading my letters. To Mario. Are you and Goombario doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is Goombario, by the way. Are you having an exciting adventure? Is Goombario being a hero or is he just goofing off? You know, I sometimes go shopping in Toad Town with Mom. Maybe we'll see you there. I'd really like to hear some of your exciting stories. I can't wait. Really? You can beat up Bowser. I know it. Goombario. Oh, look at that art. Hey there, Mario. You eating regularly? You know breakfast is the most important meal of the day. The cookbook you gave me really comes in handy. I already know a, knew a lot of recipes, but with this book, I can cook a world of new dishes. I want to tell you about the latest dish I've been cooking. It's unique. It takes a fire flower and an egg. When I first made it, it blew me away. It might help you on your adventures. Please come visit and bring those ingredients. It, she just makes a bomb. She makes a grenade. Tasty. Hmm. Tamago. Hey, big guy. How you doing? Ralph of the Bad Shop here. Thanks a bunch for shopping at my place. You're a cool customer. To show my gratitude, I'll be waiting for you with all my stock. Zero percent off. Ralph. Everything's on sale. It's technically all true. Every word of it. What a deal. The FOMO is real. Hey, brother. Brother, I hear noises. Where'd you go? A shy guy appeared at my house the other day. <clears throat> a shy guy appeared at my house the other day. I found it asleep in my bed. Can you believe it? I ran after him, but he was way too fast for me. I heard that a lot of shy guys also appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly, they came from Shy Guy's toy box. Must be somewhere in town. A toy box. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64! The whole Goomba family visited me today. They said that Goombario was in the care of my brother. Then they gave me a souvenir. It was a Goomnut, a special treat from Goomba Village. It looked so yummy I ate it without telling my brother. My FP increased by three. You think he'll notice? Oh shit, I didn't say anything. Wow, bro- Wow! Wow, brother! Your FP looks very luxurious today. Oh, you noticed. Thank you. Goodbye. Goombari's family did deliver nut. Straight to his doorstep. Um, where could I get more egg? It sounds fun. Nut dash. About the time you noticed, brother. Train station at Mount Rugged. Hmm. That's a long way. And I'm very impatient. Give me that. Give me that. 
Give me this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. So they do rotate the shop a little bit. Give me that. All right, bye. Buy some eggs for Bart. Um... Rotates me leave town. I think so, too. Uh, wait, no. I just want to see if there's anything I already have in my inventory that we can use to make a delicious, scrumptious treat with tasty. Uh, I got all these goodies. I can hold on to two more. Welcome to Harry's. Because I held on to a couple stuff thinking I would made to cook with it, including Strange Leaf. I got another cake mix. We have an Ultra Stroom. Probably make something crazy with that. Uh, maybe you make a cake out uh, of cake. Repel gel, shooting star, maple syrup, apple. It's gonna cook with the apple too. Dried shroom, maybe. My syrup. Any of the dusty hammer I should just sell. Maybe fried jar too. Apple with cake mix? Can do. We can say fuck you. It's true. In fact, it's encouraged. It's incentivized. That is that I am. Thank you. Yeah, I wonder if I can make an apple pie. Can you make a cake shroom? A shroom cake? Have you tried cooking a whack a bump? I've never obtained a whack a bump. What do you what do you mean? That's a that's a thing you can have? I first I've heard of it. Hmm. God damn it, you better swear. It's fucking fun. Apple and cake mix. I'll whip something up special for you. Why would you whack him? I didn't, see? Because I'm a good person, so... You know, here you are. Apple pie! Would you look at that? Apple pie. What does that look like? It looks like a, like a brake pedal. 5 HP, 15 FP. Okay. Usually I need HP more, but that's fine. Having the opposite's good, too. It's a McDonald's apple pie. Oh, there you go. If anything else, she should cook... Looks like a health bar. Kind of a bit, yeah. Strange. It's a little a little apple pie pillow. Um, maybe I can cook, uh, well, yeah, not this really. I did not whack him. I did not. Oh, hi, Toad. <laughs> D damn it. All right, let's just, let's just go ahead and let's start the next chapter. Why not? We got time. Cook two snowmen. Yeah, that's fine. Doll with doll. <gasps> what the fuck? Like, almost jump scared me. Hi, Chuck. Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna try the quiz? This dude, I hate looking at him. Let's go to the question. A question. What color of pants was the Goomba King wearing? I think they were blue and white. I think they were blue and white. I think they were blue and white. They were red and white? They were red and white. I'm gonna time heist it, but I trust chat. Red and white, final answer. Damn. Computer, show me Goomba King. From before we committed regicide. It was just the one- yeah, no, that sure is red and white. Why did I think blue and white? I could picture it so vividly, as if it was real. But it wasn't. Anyway. Um... Correct! Correct! Congratulations! I wish Vanity was the one who asked the questions. She's got a little heart shroom. Head hat. Here's your star piece. Thanks. You've correctly answered four questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, so long, farewell. Till we meet again. <laughs> nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Every time I remember he exists, it sends a chill down my spine. This is the port. Welcome. Activate 3D, 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 3D. Computer. <laughs> Render new pain. Doesn't the sound of waves soothe your nerves? That thing that looks like an island has been floating in the port for days. 
It just recently moved right next to the pier. Ugh, I wonder if one day it'll come ashore. M Mario, could you possibly go see if it's dangerous? Is it a giant turtle? Hey, where'd your buddy go? Tis no use trying to fish with no caterpillar. Gar, what a fix I be in. Well, there's nothing for it but to fight, but to find me different bait. Did he use his friend's bait and now he's dead? Now, Regicide Tain, I can get into. I live in your walls. Hello, Mario. Do you happen to know the owner of the bad shop that recently opened, Ralph? I met that Ralph in a different town a long, long time ago. Back then, he was selling rare foods, not badges. I recall that he had a beautiful wife at the time. Uh-huh. They worked so hard together to build a business up from nothing in that town. His wife doesn't seem to be here in Toad Town, though. Wonder what happened. Oh. This game's this, this slaps roof of N64. This bad boy can fit in so many dead spouses. Yeah, there's a few of them. Hmm. Oh. It's doing a wiggle. I hate that it's not just the wife is gone. It's that he doesn't even do what he used to do. It's like that whole part of his life he's trying to move on from. That sucks. Like, that's that for such a, like, for like a, like a, a five word sad story. Like, that, that really packs a punch. There's a lot in there. That's real good. <laughs> An odd fellow's been hanging around the port lately. All he does is stare at the horizon and mumble about treasures and the like. Look, he's here again today. Point and laugh at the strange man. Who am I, you say? Why, my dear chap, I'm none other than Colorado, famed adventure and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. I walked up and like, hey, how you doing? He's like, oh, who am I? Well, I'm glad you asked. And like, I, we, I gave you a... Treasure in the debt. Okay, well, you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you see. Mm, think now, Colorado. Think out across the sea. Hep, 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 hep. Yep, hep, 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 hep. Well, I guess we could just hang on this island. Well, ouch, ouch, what are you doing? It's a weird talking island. Oh, oh. Oh, good heavens, I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Oog, I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. What a very, very well rendered whale. It's very good. It's whale lore. And I have problems. Feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Well, it's a Nintendo game with a big fish. Of course we're getting in there. Ow, 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 help me. Hmm, I say, oh boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a bellyache. Just said he's not a tuna. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? I told you I'm not a tuna, I'm not even a fish. I have a headache from your jumping around on me too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. Bleh. Get in. I don't want to. Come on. What if he's just trying to eat Mario? This is all a ruse. Now, now, you really should help out, dear boy. Oh. Me? In there? Pop it, cock. Nintendo games said cock. Nintendo said penis. My grandmother's last words, and I quote, were, do not go inside a giant tuna. I wouldn't hesitate, of course, being a fearless explorer, but dear boy, one simply can't ignore one's grandmother. He's right about that. Damn. Hmm. Make sure you step into this convenient pool of ranch dressing before you enter. 
He's the archaeologist Colorado. He's also renowned for his carelessness. Yeah. Some folk are calling it a tuna, but it's obviously a whale. Pretty huge, isn't it? I wonder how many Goombas would fit inside one whale. He may look scary being so big, but his eyes seem kind. <laughs> He's just gonna walk in there by himself. Well, see you later. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Nice. Did you see what's going on in my stomach? What is it? Do something fast. Yeah, let me take a look. Mm, nope. Well, what was it? Alright, alright. Okay. Let's take a peek. Oh. Well, they did not need to do that. The wriggling and the undulating. That's the right word for it. They did not need to make it undulate. Where? Well, who that? What do you think you're doing with that light? You, you good? here. Ouch, that hurt. What are you doing? I don't know. Just... Oh, we're fighting him. Hey, fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm ornery as I'll get out. Prepare for some pain. Well, um, I... I have no quarrel with you, sir. I just... Alright, sure. I'm not allowed to look at him. Why- why not? I don't have enough FP. My FP is maxed out. What? Too dark? Oh. It sure did get dark, didn't it? Well... Um... I guess- I guess we just- I guess we just... That was fun. No lights in this quail. Why not? Ow! That's the default for you can't use this move. Yeah, I guess so. Get him down. Get down from there. Just immediately goes back up! Well, that's not how electricity doesn't work, so... Zap him anyway. Whoa! It's fast. Um. Cool. This will eat a lot of boxes. No. Oh, shucks. First, I think I get away from that old fishing man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pans in the fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me. You know the whale? Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. I could have just came out the way I came in, but okay. Whoosh. Hey, it's you, boy. You're that dumb old fish that ate me all up and such. <laughs> There's some S-tier dialogue. You plum idiot. You know I thought I was a goner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time, but you just watch it. Yeah, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. Immediately, a hawk swoops down and grabs him. Whew, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, I am. I, I, I mean, I, the whale, am good, quite good at swimming. 
To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be. The island will be wonderful. You must trust in my instincts. Mario, um, I think the star kid says star spirit was, um, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, uh, we should go. Big whale, give us a ride. Wee! Uh, Lava Lava Island? Of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Let me know when you're ready to go. Uh, <laughs> colonizer with a K. Um, do we have any anything else we should do in town? I think we can just go. I think we can just go. I mean, there is stuff we probably can do, but I think we're good. Also, Greg, thank you for the 69 bits. Nice. He's blushing. Let's say go. Two chapter stream. I mean, we'll see how far we get. I don't know if we'll finish this chapter. Let's go. I should update the title of stream since we're done with Shy Guys. Oh, sure this is safe then? Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. I can't believe we're on a tuna. Mario? Oh, well, that goes. Uh, instead of these shy guys aren't very shy, let's go with this lava, lava isn't very lava, lava. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that low poly seagull. Ooh. Holy goddamn. Chapter five. Hot, hot times on Lava Lava Island. Yeah, that looks fine. Wriggling creature and silhouette. Da, ch da. Chapter 5 is on an island called Lava Lava. You want... Never mind. I was about to ask for more information and I thought better of it. All right. If you want me to take you back to Toad Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing. Gracious, behold, Mario, there, off in the distance, the top of Mount Lava Lava. Triumphant, we must hurry, make haste. Look at that sprite for Colorado. And there's some very good artwork there. Anyway, we made it to Gullah Gullah Island. Whoa. Oh yeah, I didn't heal up the full. Oh well. We're fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I... I can't jump? Maybe maybe we paracarry? To gain height? Nope. Press... Oh, you got a spin. It makes helicopter noises. Wasn't expecting that. All right. Thanks. Hmm. We got some kind of a stopwatch back there. I'm at nine items already. I think I'll just leave that there. Not all is as it seems on Lava Lava Island. Can I have a nut? Whoa. Wow. Sure can. Throw it to damage one enemy. Nice. Yarg! Help, I say help! Oh, okay. Hmm, letter. A letter to Igor in Boo's shop. Oh, yeah. This seems for the best for everyone. We're nice and relaxed, and the fuzzies clearly having a good time. I think we're all good. Ooh, spin. Get off! Ah! Dear me, I barely got away. God damn it. That was rather rude, Mario, leaving me like that. 
Well, we can't all be heroes. Let's press on, hmm? Oh. Yeah, he's fine. What happened to the, uh, fuzzy? No. Oh. He's just looking for adventure. Well, he's also looking to, like... Oh, yeah! He's looking for, like, artifacts to, to steal. <laughs> Look at them! A Yoshi. This Yoshi always hangs out around the village entrance. Hello, howdy. This is Yoshi's village. Mount Lava Lava, you say? Well, the volcano's just to the east of our village, but there's no way to reach it. Besides, the village leader said it's best not to get too close. It could erupt any day. Favorite Yoshi color? Um... It's a good question. Oh, no! He doesn't see us. It sucks because it's literally the only one on screen, but I am partial to, the, to red Yoshis. I also like black Yoshis. They're also very good. I mean, really, they're all good. Really. When you get down to it. Palm trees are loaded with goodies. Goals! Light blue is good. Question. Which of Mario's battle commands is on the far left? Strategies. I was second guessing myself. I was like, it has to be. Or is it? If correctly, it's at five. So long, farewell. I'll be there saying goodbye. Uh, what's, what's the deal with that statue? I'd like to inspect that. <gasps> He's sitting. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, yeah, Ye yeah. He's the village leader. He's very dignified. Yeah, he is. Doesn't he look thoughtful and perceptive? I mean, I don't think there's a thought in there. Same as every Yoshi, but sure. He's an old friend of the village leader. They've known each other since they were kids. I hear they pulled many a prank together. They must be really close pals if they've been friends for so long. Shit. It's good. Round. I imagine absolute unit in a Scottish accent. It's very good. Um. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There he is. Uh, hi. Hey there, Mario. Have you met the ravens yet? They live at the top of the biggest tree in the village. There are lots of them, but they never come down. They speak a different language from ours, too. Pretty mysterious, huh? Everybody says they're the disciples of the master of this island, Raphael the Raven, but do you really think so? He's a blue sheep. He's John Belushi. He's just hanging out here. Maybe he's a, mar a marine Yoshi, you know, because he's blue. Okay, maybe not. Can't just ask someone why they're blue, Gumbario. Well, well, hello. If it isn't Mario, welcome to Lava Lava Island. This island's almost entirely covered by a thick jungle. Still, how can you beat living in this tropical climate? This still she's really easy to talk to. I bet everybody likes him. He's so friendly. My Goompa once read me a book that had a Yoshi in it, but I never really thought that they existed. It's so exciting to see him. He wasn't sure if they existed, but also knows all the hot gossip for every Yoshi on the island. Respect that. The village leader is my friend. I mean, hello, how are you? But anyway, ever since he was a child, the village leader has had a very strong sense of personal responsibility. When I heard he was going to be the village leader, I wasn't surprised at all. Welcome to you, Mario. I'm the village leader of Yoshi's Village. Mario, you come seeking help. You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm, the entrance to the volcano is in the jungle. It's very difficult to get to it. The volcano has awakened as well. I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. It's very difficult. Good luck, Mario. Tell me about this raven statue, though, because it's very good. It's quite good. I trust his judgment. Hmm. 
Is that a Yoshi story reference? I would imagine so, with the ravens. <gasps> Little! Small! This feels... This just feels right, you know? We don't have to play the rest of the game. We could just stay here. We're the fearsome five of Yoshi's Village. Yeah! We play hide and seek together. We can't leave the village, though, so it's sort of boring. I want to play somewhere bigger and more exciting. And I want to see the jungle. It's dangerous, you know? Now that'd be exciting. He's a green Yoshi kid. He's an excitable rascal. Yoshi kids get pretty big. All he wants to do is explore beyond his village. I know how he feels. We are the same, you and I. Oh. Well, as you were. Didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, hey. I'm back. I do have mail for a Yoshi kid. Oh, shoot. Uh, 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 uh. Wasn't it a red Yoshi kid? Oh, it's Mario. Hey, Mario. You looking for adventure? If you want, we'll go with you, please. You won't have to worry at all. The Fearsome Five's got your back. Let's go to the jungle. We're not scared. We just can't ever go because that metal some old cheap cheap stops us. A red Yoshi kid. Ah, you must be the one. Name's Pedro Carry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Thanks, I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal made up a new game. I gotta play this later. He also wants me to come over to his town and play with him sometime. But how can I get there? Oh, well, maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's really funny, because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Pericary, will you help? Here, deliver my letter to the toad kid who asked you to send this one to me. I don't remember which toad kid it was. Dainty near the station. That's the one. You looking for adventure? Man, he wants to join our party. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could have like a like a baby Yoshi as a party member? Shame that's not possible. That's just silly. You wouldn't you wouldn't that wouldn't happen. He's a blue Yoshi kid. He thinks he's different from other Yoshi kids. What a cute little guy. Yeah, I can see how he might get on your nerves though. We're the first of five Yoshi's village, we're all best friends, you know? We're together when we play, when we get in trouble, we're always together. Of course, now we won't be. We're playing hide and seek, and I'm it. I hate being it. Him. Chugga made the same joke. It's hard not to. <laughs> Some jokes are just layups. You just have to go for them. Looks pretty mischievous. He looks like a little scamp. I bet he gets in all sorts of trouble. Doesn't regret it a bit. What? That's like me? Mario, come on. Take it back. Scamping. Oh, welcome. We don't get visitors to this island very often. You should know that the jungle beyond here is dangerous. Our kids are forbidden to go in. And by the way, I just saw a Koopa guy who calls himself an archaeologist running in the opposite direction. He was saying something about finding a way to the volcano. Now there's a guy who's heading for danger. A Yoshi. I've seen pictures and books of these guys. I want to ride on one's back. It's always been a childhood dream of mine. I want to see a Goomba riding a Yoshi. Very much so. They look different. Yeah, baby Yoshis don't usually look like small Yoshis. They've got like different mouths and a little situation going on. That is a good description of them. How are you, Mario? Have you talked with the Cheap Cheap over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name's Sushi. She watches over the kids. What would we do without her? Sometimes the kids complain about her, but kids are kids. By the way, an archaeologist named Colorado or something went into the jungle alone. He said he was making for Mount Lava Lava, but the path ends halfway there. Wonder how far he got. This Yoshi loves food like nobody's business. Wonder what he'd do if we gave him some food made by Tasty. He'd freak out. Oh, it's Mario. You're on an adventure or something. Well, who's that with you? Is that your partner? Man, I wish I could be. That'd be a dream come true. A grown will let us out of the village because this is too dangerous. That mad little cheap cheap's always watching us, and she won't let us out of the jungle. We'll see about that. Us guys, the fearsome five, we aren't afraid of anything. He's a purple Yoshi kid. Not a care in the world. Very cute. He seems to like you, Mario. Get away from me. We're the fearsome five. When we arrive, it's live at five. We always stick together, even when we're being banned. Speaking of which, today's the day we put our secret plan into action. So cool. Only we five know the plan, and that's not the way that's the way it has to be. Sorry, can't tell you. Oh man, I'm so excited. Hope we can find lots of tasty fruit in the jungle. 
He's a yellow Yoshi kid. Whoa, he's cheery, huh? This kid's full of pep. I was the same back in the days when I was small. Well, I'm still small? Well, yeah, compared to you, I guess I'm still wet behind the ears. Ears? I guess I'm still wet behind the head. The Yoshi 5. Ka. Ka? Are you the Mario the Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? Oh. Oracle of the Stars, Mario comes to this island. Mario's fated to meet Master Raphael the Raven. Ka. Ka ka ka? So they can speak our language. He's a raven. They're really cute. I told Cooper that and he said I had weird taste. What's so weird about that? Aren't they cute, Mario? They are cute. They are very good. Ravens only say call unless they think they have something really important to tell you. They only tell important stuff to people they trust. Wish they'd tell us something. The council has judged Mario. He's a raven. He looks good in black. Can we, can we take him with us? He doesn't want to go. What a bummer. Big feet with fat toes. They're good. They're just... They, they, I, well... Well, now I can't unsee Among Us. So they very ra it's like a like a light switch just went off in my brain and now I just see a bunch of Among Uses. Wow, that is startling. Except they're Among Uses with bare feet, which is even worse. He's a raven! Ravens are short and chubby, they're pretty fluffy too, and somewhat cuddly and soft. And they're sus. Too electrical, I guess. <laughs> nah. Nah. They look funny when they fly. They're just good little guys. Now we gotta talk to sushi. Bum, bum, bum. A little mugs in the corner? No. Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fool Sushi, they'd better think again. Mmm, Sushi. She's a cheap cheap. Her name is Sushi. She's sort of meddlesome. At least that's what the Yoshi kids say. According to them, she tries to control their lives. I think she's just trying to take care of them. But she doesn't seem to be succeeding. They're up to no good, the lot of them. Make Sushi a chain smoker. No. I could give her my classic Undyne voice if you want. Welcome to Yoshi's Cabana. What's your pleasure? He's the Yoshi set up a little shop on the island. He sells, checks, and buys items. Remember, shops are different in different parts of the world. I see items in this shop that you can't get anywhere but here. I, I guess so. Please, no. <laughs> Even if I bring up the idea. If, chat's ask, ask, if chat asks for something, I say no. Well, that's convenient. No, I don't. No, I don't. I, I meant to spin. Yoshi Gatekeep Girl Boss Entrepreneur. I see the Yoshis have invented capitalism. This Toad House slogans is refresh your body and soul. Would you like to take a nap? Have a pleasant rest. We got the leaf nice and fresh for you, Mario. It's comfy. You get some rest? Good luck on your adventure. Can you not do it? Shit. Yes, and uh, should I go right or should I go by sushi? Maybe we go see what's next to sushi first. <laughs> that very clearly seems to be a thick jungle. Can you not not do it? Big monkey. Oh yeah, this seems. Ah. Ugh. The hurt plant. This is a heart plant. They pretend to be heart plants, which give you a heart when you touch them. Oh. HP 8. Attack 2. If a heart plant bites you, it'll be poisoned, then your HP will fall with each turn. We better beat him as quickly as possible. Unless you can frequently restore your HP, you'll find yourself in trouble pretty fast. Hurt plants. It's a mimic. Get it? Well, I've been poisoned. Well, I've been poisoned again. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Let's just do that. Every RPG needs a mimic. And if you think, well, this game doesn't have a mimic. Just haven't found it yet. Dang it. Keep going real early on that. Gambari can tattle on the plants in the jungle if you stand close to them. Fairly really says anything unique about objects in the field. Oh. Hell yeah, give me eight things, yeah! Huge, absolutely massive plays. The absolute luck. A heart plant. Those grow only on Lava Lava Island. When you touch one, it gently stretches out its stem to welcome you. If you're lucky, it'll also give you a heart when it uncoils. Nice, huh? There's a species of mean plant that imitates it, though. Is this one good or bad? Huh. So it could be good or bad and you don't know till you interact with it. Oh my god. That shy guy was cranking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at him go. Not sure what I expected. Hmm. Pole guy. Pull guy puts a very different image in my head, but yes. Correct. Oh. Meh. Oddish. Angry Oddish. Evenish. Embush. This is a mbush. Mbushes pretend to be bushes and wait for unwary prey. They do like a little bit of a crab, please. Their bites are sometimes poisonous, so be careful. If you get poisoned, your HP will gradually fall. Yep, I know. Let's clear them out quickly. Use your most powerful attack, why don't you? M. Bison's cousin. Cousin. Got him. Got him. Yet another mimic. This place is sus, okay? This area seems to be more elaborate than I first assumed. It still feels like I should check this place out before the thicker part of the jungle. What do you mean, Tara? Just normal hammer sounds. Hmm. This area's long. Okay. Well, maybe it's for the best that we start at this stream instead of trying to do it all in one stream. Hmm. There's the fourth and final flower back there. Eh. Eh. Well, all we can do here. Full of mimics. Be very stressful. <laughs> that last one came from the tree. So it is consistent, if you can remember which ones are mimics, but you can't attack them in the field. I guess because the whole point is that you're like flipping a coin to see if it's... Huh. Weird. Anyway. That's just rude. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show a pig of a dog. One sec. Let me finish murdering these plants. <laughs> Tasty tonic. Um... Yeah, I'm good. Throw it on the ground. I do need to use some items, though. Mm, yeah, we'll just... We'll just rest up, and then we'll head into the jungle. A Mimic Mimic, you go, go to attack a regular Mimic, and a larger Mimic chomps you. 
So it's like a, a very suspicious treasure chest that you open and then like the chandelier drops down and eats you. That'd be fun. Although that would just feel like a trap rather than a mimic mimic. This dog is incredible. I feel like if you slapped a Photoshop filter on this, it would look like a Renaissance painting. I feel, I feel like the golden ratio is in here somewhere. This is just it's some, it's something about this. It's just very good. And, and just the expression. The betrayal. <laughs> the distrust. The contempt. So many emotions. It's like Mona Lisa's smile. It's like, what? What's going on behind those eyes? My god. Absolutely incredible. Thank you. Wow. The trail of the pup. There is room for me to point- there's room for me to point at everything. That's the glory of pointing. Uh, did you get some rest? Sure did. Thanks. Yeah. You did this. Same expression as Bargliacci. This pain behind those eyes, you know? Pain that needs to be let out. But only when the time is right. I made you point in the meme parlor. But like right now? Uh, uh, uh. Well, that was fast. The internet works quick. <laughs> Gotta say. I shouldn't be surprised anymore, but I still am. Look at that dog! It's small and wet and sad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kitsuna. Uh, 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 before I show on stream, I would hope. Get that dog a tell. Yarg! Yeek! Help! It's probably fine. May I also? You may also. Should we help him? No, no, no. Let's see how this plays out. I need to briefly interrupt our previously scheduled programming to look at a dog. The extremely good pup. And we now resume our previously scheduled programming already in progress. The dog seen some shit. I saw them feet. Hey, how you doing? The entrance to the volcano is very near here. I think the shy guy's trying to listen, so he slowed down. Or stopped making noise. He's pretending now. A green jungle, a massive volcano, and red hot flowing lava. What a view. Probably wouldn't look so good if the lava were coming toward us. Anyway. Get a hold of yourself! What do you say you attack the enemies instead of me, hmm? I just wanted to join in. Mario, it's important you watch and you learn. This feels therapeutic. 
Okay, last one, Universal. If anyone else wants to share, you can post them in the in the uh, the the berry cord. We have a an animals channel for all your cute animal needs. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, Wong Snoot! Yeah! Let's fucking go! Long Snoot! Very good Snoot. The boopinest Snootinest. Alright, see you later, Colorado. Off me, you brute! Ah! Rude? That was a frightful... That, that was frightful. Have you no manners, Mario? Going on without me, you boar. Well, not everyone is noble. It would seem that our goal, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on, hmm? I would say you're the rude one for, you know, everything. I've done nothing wrong. Just walk around talking to Yoshis. Oh. Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it. The secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? Cricket exists in the Mario universe, but I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Really hope I walk back and the same shy guy's beating him up again. Yeah! Stop it! Please be the same shy. Oh. Oh, <laughs> did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? But just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on, hmm? And now he's getting beaten up by a shy guy. Damn it! See, that's when you have him turn and immediately start getting bopped on the head again. How we doing? How we doing, guys? We doing we doing good? Wow, you're just enjoying the show, aren't you? The kids are gone! The only place they could have gone is the jungle! I had a feeling they were up to something lately. But I thought it was just mischief! I think they go into such a dangerous area. What do we do? How will we find them? It's terrible, just terrible. The kids are all gone. We told them a thousand times never to go into the jungle. Sushi went after them. She's a cheap cheap who always takes care of the kids. How could this happen? There must be a reason. Mario, please help. Look for the kids. Mom, that's your fortune. The children are missing. They seem to have secretly slipped off to the jungle. They don't know it's dangerous. We must get them back here to safety. Mario, could I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the Yoshis of my village are panicking. They aren't thinking straight. I'm trying to calm them down. You just find those kids. Man, panic! Everybody panic! I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve their problem so we can quiz them, eh, old boy? Someone. Someone. Yeah, technically not a first playthrough, but it has been quite a long time. Decades. These na- yeah. I don't like the way you said that. We have a huge problem! The children have disappeared! Well, what should I- Oh, what a- No, oh, village leader should- oh, I can't explain! But- this remix is very fun, though. I was like, wait, did the music slow down just because I was near the sleepy guy, or...? It's just part of the song. Never mind. It just happened to sync up. I was like, wait, is the music just chill next to him? He's dead. You killed him, Mario. R.I.P. Just walks over and puts down some flowers. 
Oh, Mario, please. Pine find those poor children. The Yoshi kids from his village are like grandchildren to me. Oh, those poor babies. Good work, Yoshi. Keep up the good work. Those kids are gonna be just fine. Oh no! Oh no! Someone help! Emergency! E emergency! The kids are gone! I looked along the shore, but there was no trace of them. Oh, where could they be? What if they were in trouble in the jungle somewhere? Hit them trees. Don't they just drop nut? Rapio? Oh, where could he be? I already have one coconut. Do I need multiple coconut? I imagine one's used for a recipe. Hey, Kothar. Hey, the way. Just make new kids. <laughs> That's a great offer. That's a great solution. What are we gonna do? The kids have disappeared. What are we gonna do? We gotta do something. Okay, calm down. Get a hold of yourself. We should consult the village leader. Yes, the leader will know. All right. Here's the plan, gang. Panic. Man. So do we think they went back into the jungle we were just in, or did they go this way? Well, this is where Sushi was, so I imagine they probably went, probably just passed by them, you know? Just make new kids. It's easy. They went that way? Let me check this way. Um. 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 Well. I, I meant this way. Clearly they went th Yeah, straight. <laughs> he just sees some very small pairs of shoes. Well. Yeah, I guess technically we didn't need to go this way before. Get back here this instant, you little ingrates! Is that for us? Hey, you down there! Look up here if you hear me! This is so embarrassing, I'm stuck in this tree. Can you help me out somehow? What if I spin? Is this helping? Hey. Come on now, try harder! Oh. Alright, Goombario, get ready to catch her. On my mark. Mark. Goombario! Oh, phew, I'm saved. I feel like one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, those little. I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys and I fell into their trap. Don't they know how dangerous it is to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. Cause I'm in. Dude, as for you, you'd better get back to the village too. It's dangerous out here. Why on earth did you come into the jungle anyway? Ooh. Well, wow, so you're looking for those little rascals as well. Then I don't see why we don't just look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my, how impolite. I've even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? Mario, hmm? Mm, well, I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy lovely Lava Lava Island. That's what I usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? She doesn't know who Mario is. That's a nice change of pace. Sushi. Oh! Sushi. Press C down on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. If you press C down again while riding her, she'll dive deep for a short time. She does look quite upset. <laughs> She's, she did not agree either. She was like, we'll look for the children together. Mario's like, okay. She's immediately regretting her decision. Second best girl. What after what? While in battle, she can jump attack and she can jump attack with belly flop or douse enemies with her squirt ability. Squirbility. And whoop. Zoom. Oh. Oh, when you dive below, Mario closes his eyes in a way that really makes it seem like he's just made his peace with dying. <laughs> he's just... There he goes. 
The tree on the island with the star piece? With this one right, Mia? Uh, yeah. A letter. For Rusty. Hey, nice. Why, thank you. Going to that warp pipe in the sky. It's where you're gonna go when you die. Yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. This island's so nice, isn't it? It's the perfect place for napping. Perfect temperature. I'm a bubble. My job is to fill this world with flowers. Nice, huh? I want you to take this seed. Or rather, that's what I want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. Don't worry, though. It'll be ready any time now. Waiting in such a warm, comfy place can't be all bad, right? Come grab the seed later. I'm pretty generous. So I'll be here giving stuff to people. Hey, doctor. How you doing? Eh. Eh. Why does he need to wait? He's still, he's still brewing it. Still, it's got to percolate a little longer. Um. Cool. It's germinating. She upgrade already? Nope. So we could technically go back to Toad Town and hop into the sewers, but we'll just keep going for now. Thanks, Doctor Manatee. Uh, for six months, enjoy your golden key. It's a lot. Popping out from between the couch cushions to pay rent. Back to Vodland. The super lock in the jungle. Perfect. Who's sleeping? Is is that the Yoshi sleeping? It must be. Eh, eh. Nah, 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 nah. Yabi in the tree. He's having a snooze. Thanks for the ten dollars. I said thanks for the ten dollars. And there's a million things I can buy with ten bucks. <laughs> like, uh, some lettuce. Thank the cami for the hammy. The cami hammy dislocated my knee. Chilling at home for a week, but hey, silver lining, get to catch the stream. Bits were already here. I'm good. Thank you for the bits, Cammy. Thank you for the hammy. I'm so sorry to hear about your knee. I hope your recovery is real quick and easy. And you get to have a nice chill week. Make the most of it. Thank you. Hope you recover quick. Hey, Shiv. How you doing? Watch the first app of Last of Us show. I'm related. My eyes are wet. Terrible day for rain. Yeah. Spear guy. There's a spear guy. The relatives of shy guys, they live in the jungle. HP 7, attack 3, defense 0. You get hurt if you attack with the hammer while they're pointing the spear at you. You also get hurt if you try to jump on them when the spear is pointing up. Pay attention to the position of their spears when we attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call in reinforcements. After they throw their spears, they're just ordinary shy guys. Okay. Jump. Yeah, bam. Good old Yoshi's Island. Whoa. Don't do that. Yeah. Tears are gone now. Thanks, spear guy. Yeah. There's a tissue at the end of the spear. It sounded way worse than it was. Okay. Got it. So you're doing okay. Hmm. Power quake. Greatly damages all enemies. So it's like quake but better. Quake 2? It's probably... Expensive. Yeah, two uses four FP. Hmm. Hmm. I did upgrade my bup and then never equip anything. Hmm. Would you look at that, chat? Why would you would you look at that? Isn't that fun? Um, I'm sure someone's been yelling at their screen for the last hour. Send me to Lurker Jail. Have a good lurk. Thanks, Runecraster. Boop, 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 boop. Room cast the crevice. Bup. Bup. Um, jump on spiked enemy without taking damage. That probably counts for these lads, but I think it's uh, probably okay. Uh, slow go. Any fans of slow go in the house? Uh, Power jump and power smash back on the menu. Does count for spear, guys? Gotcha. That's good to know. Don't think I need it. Uh, sushi. 
Slogo's really useful here. Legit? Uh, wait. Oh, do I need to loop back around to get to that? Guy, yeah, looks like it. All right. You can look for Yoshi's more thoroughly. <laughs> sometimes, listen, sometimes you gotta stop and take stock of your surroundings. Most of the pass you by. Hey, look at that. We need that for sushi. We need to make the fish swole. Yep. Meh. Get him. Uh-oh. That's a whole bunch of them. All right, Sushi. Let's see what you can do. Uh, belly flop. Onto an enemy. That sounds like a jump. Squirt a jet of water. Great for fire enemies. Uh, well. Any percent slow go. <laughs> Run takes 50 hours. Uh, yeah. Don't let it reach the edge. Got it. Hey, nice. Ow! Ow! Stop it. Okay, now we can flop onto this guy. Look how mad she is! Yeah! Get him! Get him! And uh, this guy... Yep. Just like real life squirt you need to stop okay good. Now oh, they're adorable together. Yeah. And a jump. Right in the soft underbelly. Did he just walk away? Oh. <laughs> I I I was fully prepared for him to just calmly walk out of the fight and just be like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. See you later. I give up. And then the music plays the victory music with a question mark. It's like, I guess you did it. Calls friend, watch friend die, walks off. Into the sunset. Just upset and confused. Fanfare plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Upgrade sushi. Yes. Yes. Now there's... Don't say who they are, because spoilers. But to my memory, I remember one other party member. There might be two more? I remember one more. Sushi is super sushi. Yeah, I had a feeling. There's more. It's Kylo Ren. I said no spoilers, Shiv. I want to chat who hasn't seen this game to be excited about Kylo Ren in this. A little lackluster, though. Oh. Let's see what you did in there. Yeah, it's Master Chef. It's Nico from GTA 4. Time me out. Side eyes like a dog that threw it up. What are you... Have a good time out, Shiv. Think about cats 2019. Eight partners, I can't remember. Well, we currently have a coconut and apple pie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah. Somehow, sushi has returned. No, wait, it spamped him. He's doing a dab. Bah. Somehow, they fly now. Curious. Uh, wait, I do want to jump. Power jump. Nailed it. Um, water block. Create a cube of water to boost Mario's defense briefly. That's fun. Go, Sushi, go. Yeah, these guys are fun. I like their little steps. Their little, little leaf feet. Wouldn't he drown? <laughs> Good news, Mario. I've encased you in a cube of water. Three cubic feet of water around your head. Now you'll take less damage. And then Mario is just deceased in a cube. But it wasn't by the enemy's hand. 
Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. No regrets. Not a single regret. But you okay? You are you okay, Sushi? She had the zoomies. Something fierce. She is living. She's living. Uh, should we go left or continue along this path? Um, let's fight these guys. Saw a cool rock. <laughs> she got really excited about that rock! Oh yeah, oh yeah! 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 Crush it! Boom! They call him One Hit Mario. Because he's very fragile. He dies in one hit. So she's female. Yep. Boom! From downtown, boom shakalaka. And you. Wah. Yeah! Woo, yeah, woo, yeah, woo! Your full pizza? Hell yeah, little birdie, let's go! Sounds good. We don't have zoomers for the bush dudes. You can still zoom, please, for these guys. Got a little bit of a zoom, please, energy. Having fun? Oh, the rock, yeah. Wee. That clip brings me so much joy. <laughs> I'm excited for the December highlights just to get to rewatch that clip. Wee. Fright jar? Nah, I'm good. Into the garbage. We love littering in the jungle, don't we, Sushi? Don't we, Sushi? Boy, these are just all enemies, aren't they? They kind of they kind of give you that sense of like, hey, maybe they'll give you health for free in the middle of the jungle. Surprise! Every single one of them is an enemy. Ooh nice. It was a joy. I'm glad. I had a lot of fun doing that stream. You don't want a jar of liquid fear? You mean monster energy drink, TM? Ha ha ha. Why ever not? Why ever indeed? Ah, wait. Let me check the bushes. Okay. Damn it, I hit him while he was jamming. I feel bad. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that guy. Look at this guy. Um get to to, to Goombario. And then and then do a tattle upon the jungle fuzzy. This is a jungle fuzzy! They are very similar to other fuzzies, but they live in the jungle, so. That's their name. Max HP 7 attack power 2. They claim you suck out your HP and add to their own. What a sleazy move. They won't stop clinging to you until you tear them off with the action command. They also occasionally divide. Let's beat them before they get the chance. Mess them up, Mario. Oh, uh, let's power jump. Boom. Goodbye. That was extremely early on that. Thank you. One jump. One jump, man. Reproduction via budding. Oh, another raven statue. Hmm. That was not what I expected. Okay. Up, right, down. Remember that. We'll need we'll need to remember that. Probably. That's a duck. Barquank, is that you? Mad duck. Time me out. I accept punishment by interrupting Shy Guy's jam. Uh, punishment for me? Okay, well now I feel bad timing you out, but I do feel better. <laughs> You don't need to remember that. Okay, well. Seems like a thing I should think about.
Playing Mario games around these Yoshi stuff. Yeah. Or like Donkey Kong stuff. Because Nintendo has successfully carved these multiple different franchises out of Mario sub franchises. But, uh. It's like when that stuff shows up in Mario, it's like, hey, it's Mario. Do a dunk. God damn it. I keep tapping when he pulls it back. Which is wrong. So very wrong. He dead, he fall over dead. Goodbye. We're almost to a level. What are we thinking? Bup? Or, uh... Or Bup? Number of coins! Holy moly! Yay! Y yay! Chat, chat thinking about Bup. Why does chat not think about Bup? The Kong's in the Mario movie. Yeah, I hope they're well done. Hey! Nice. Finally. A friendly plant in the jungle that isn't trying to murder me. Well, it's out of healing. I didn't think they ran out. Cool. Hmm. One more thing about Chet. Eek! Somebody help me! I'm so scared I want to go home! Okay, well now I do want to save him, even though he's a little shitter. I think the prana plants are like, how do we get in touch with his parents? Do we, do we stay here and wait, or do we try to move them somewhere? I don't even know where they live. What am I to do with this lost, fucking sassy child? Putrid piranha? They're putrid. And Piranha. HP 12, attack 3, defense 0. Putrid Piranha sometimes bite. The truly scary things are nasty, poisonous breath. The power of their bad breath is 2. Your HP will begin to fall if you get poison. You should try to recover as quickly as possible. Yeah, thanks. Blazing glory! Those are the 50 bits. The Yoshi scream annoyed me when I played it as a kid. It's payback for Yoshi's Island when uh, Mario screams to Yoshi. It's full circle. Hey, thank you for the bits. A Mario Malboros. Where does Mario Ouroboros? Ma Mal Malboros. They're protecting him. Exactly. They don't know who you are. Different color. And these guys look at rather prana plants. But yeah. This is the first time we fought prana plants in this game. Which is weird. To just give him a distinction. Um, let's jump on him. Bam. Ow. There were some in the Forever Forest. Oh, yeah! You're very, very right. Thanks. <laughs> I, uh... I remember things sometimes. Not often, but, you know, there it is. Get him, Gumbario. Strike with utmost fervor. And murder him. Finish him. Superb Smash Brothers. Hmm. Yeah, there's tobacco plants. Putrid piranhas. Feeling better? Well, where? Are they all gone? I thought those things were gonna eat me right up. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I'll do what you grown-ups tell me to do from now on. I don't even want to do bad things anymore. I just want to be a good boy. I'm going home now. Bye! No, well, he's not making it home, is he? Nope. Well, that's one down. Four to go. It's very tiny. You got any more health in there? Yeah, you do. Is it just random? Do they not run out? Or is it because I left and came back? This one's giving me way more than it did before. Not gonna see him in the sequel. Well, fine. Uh, no, I'm good. Um, sushi sandwiches. I 
So we can go north or south. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that statue. Seems neat. I like the way that it is. What's that about? This one fell over. A statue of Raphael the Raven. Maybe you can put something inside it. All right, Sushi, get in there. Eh, so where he comes to play DDR. Well, stick a Yoshi kid in there. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's got to run on a little hamster wheel. You know, I like how Thousand Your Door handles a lot of traversal stuff. I think it's cute and fitting for the game and the theme, but... It's also convenient to not have to swap out your party members constantly. There's a few things they do in Thousand Your Door, but... I also do like how this game leans into the party members being significant for each area like this. I think it works. Birds eat fish sushi. This is your destiny. Now he's sleeping! That is not who I thought was in the tree. They got me good. Uh, eh. Doesn't have a quick party menu. Doesn't? Does it only have the pause screen one? Hmm. Not sure why I didn't just kill that first one, but... It, wh why is it like this? Thanks. Thanks, you. Just the pause menu. I mean, once you get a party member from the Glitz Pit, I just kind of kept them all the time outside of battle. But yeah. It does have a quick menu. That's what I thought. It's been almost as long as the last time I played this. I played through Thousand Year Door when it came out. And don't think I've touched it since. There's, that's where he is. You little shit. Uh, morning. Hey, it's Mario. What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, sushi too? We were playing hide and seek and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. Jungle's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. And he didn't learn a single thing. The end. Nature's beautiful. And, uh, is this gonna... Wait. I can't do it while I'm standing on it. Just wanted to see what would happen. If I could blast up into space. Magnificent. Okay. Um, so that's a nice shortcut we unlocked. Well, let's go back. We have to venture deeper into the... Jungle. I almost said desert for some reason. Come now, sushi. We're adventuring to do. Tally ho. Over yonder. Uh, the lush tropical desert. So we can leave to the left. Let's go up here first. Uh-huh. My Mario Copter goes soy soy soy. Oh, 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 all right. That's fine. Oh. Multi-bounce, let's go! Yeah! And now you do an attack that hits everyone. See you later, Sushi. Uh... Start Storm to seven damage to enemies. Oh. Multi-ball. That's good to know. Can I kill them all with bomb? I think so? Power bomb for sure. Do we think we'll gamble? Let's find out. 
Oh, he's like just holding the thing. Well, that went uh, really well. Stop it. These guys are rude. Eh. Let go of me. Stop it. That was dumb. I agree. I thought I was fine, but you know, here we are. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Power Quake. This'll do it. Goodbye. They just want to smooch on him. Who could blame him? Yes. Yes. So here's what I'm thinking. It'd be really nice to have more HP. But it would be even nicer to have more. Listen, we've almost maxed out our, our badge amount. Someone said it maxes at 30, so at this point we might as well. Um, I did want to see if we could get damage dodge back on. Yeah, we sure can. Sweet. Almost max up. Almost. Shishin the phone, peep. Hmm. Just seeing the badge menu makes me smile. It's good. It's a good game. It's fun. The hell is that noise? Oh, it's a crying Yoshi, isn't it? Wait, how in the hell did you get in here? At this point, I might, go, might as well go all the way with the bup. Once you go bup, you never go bup. Thank you for the bits, Blazing. There was this flower that spun around, and I thought it was way cool, so I got on it, and then I spun around and around, and then I was up in the air and flying, and then I ended up here. I didn't know how I got here. It was so dark and scary, and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going straight home. Where? Bup, 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 bup. Wait, not, not you. Not you. Not, wait. You. Did I do it? Oh yeah, I did it. Why didn't it blow up? It's just a rock? Why'd they make such a suspicious rock? Or why'd they put anything here at all? Is this just to, to prevent you from holding right? There's so many different ways they could have done that. Alright. Can't blow up rocks in the dark, silly. Aren't I a fool? Rocks can be suspicious. They sure can be. It feels like a don't hug me, I'm scared line. Hmm. What's all this then? Ah. Nothing sus there. No two susses about it. Okay. Good. I don't trust this. This feels like a trap. I knew it. <laughs> a trap of my own making. Boom! I think I should do a flip. Dong. Dong. Ignore the child, defeat the fuzzy. You must take care of one threat to take care of the other. Yes, the baby Yoshi is a threat. I'm concerned. The rocks like to listen and think. I'm happy for them. All right, kid. What happened? Whoa, 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 sniff, sniff. We were playing hide and seek. I had to be it, but I couldn't find anyone at all. I was wandering around and then I got lost. You were right, Sushi. The jungle's really scary. Thanks for coming all the way out here to look for me. I'll be a good boy from now on and listen to you. Psych! 
Mario will be it. Will you be it for hide and seek instead of me? I'm going home now. I mean, I basically, yeah, I mean, I, I basically am it. I'm looking for all these dang kids. All right, was that all of them? I think so. Did we get them all? There's one more. Where have I not been? Close enough. <laughs> hmm. Where haven't I been? Star piece back there, though. Where? Back where? Was I oblivious? Back where I just was? I'm sure I'll be happy we help. Yeah, what, what's four out of five missing kids? Back home. Most! Uh, oh! Nice. I used to be cool with it, but then they changed what it was. Now it's scary and unknowable. It'll happen to you. A solid B. We take those. Bees get the bees. Knock one out of the tree? Sure did. Guess I haven't done whatever's up with this. Ah! Maybe we gotta go back and talk to the ravens. And they'll be like, here's what you do to access the thing in order to get to where the final... The final boy lies in wait. Did you find one behind a bush? Um... No? Yeah, give me, give me a nudge. Give me a rough ballpark. Of where, where to. A good Fort Crawler from Psychonauts? What do you mean? That's a cycle, Raz. Section of bushes? You gotta look through them. I looked through a section of bushes to find the... The warp pipe. Disturbingly accurate. Thank you. I have listened to Ford Color say Psychor about 50,000 times. No. More bushes. <laughs> um. Did I find like a dead end somewhere? Uh. Is he, is he crying somewhere? This is where the one that was in the tree was. You will hear the crying. So it's a place I haven't been to yet? Or did I just miss where he was? We're all crying somewhere. Thanks. I think I need a better idea of where to look, because in my mind I've been everywhere that I could think of. I didn't hear any crying. Left. Now you take that psychor there. <laughs> I can go left all day. Over there. That there's a cobweb duster. I still don't know if is this for anything or is this just goofy? It might just be goofy. Glass him out of seed. He's not ready yet. He's shy. I think you have to probably finish the chapter before you can. He's asleep in a bush, so he's not crying. Where in the hell? Should I just look up a, a guide? Because I have no idea. Throw Bombette on the scales? She wouldn't go up high enough, I don't think. Yeah. You'll see Z's coming out of the bush. Is it a place I've already been? Yes. Did I go left in the previous room? Didn't I? I don't... No, don't spin! God dang it. What did I say? Starstorm? I don't need a starstorm, these guys. They're nothing to me. You hear me? Nothing. You get off of me! Get off! Good. Good. Hell yeah, three star points. Let's go. That's huge. 
huge XP gains for days. Um, yeah, I think I can see the path behind that statue through the bush there. Um, left and down. Gladly. So I certainly went... This is where I came into this place. So there's something... Ah! No. Don't know how I got away from that. Guy in the bushes. Man in the bushes. Left side of the screen. Right, I haven't been over there. Is there a very convenient dock right here? There absolutely is. Thank you. Bo -bo -bo -hoo. Yeah. So I missed that there was a dock down here. I remember seeing that and... Okay. Got it. Thank you. Do I need to fight? The Probably have to fight the game. Okay. Conspicuous bush be gone. Whoa, okay. Well, yeah, maybe now we... See? That works for me. Dear Jesus, smite my foes. I'm not Jesus, kid. Stop calling me that. You didn't smite any of them. Yeah, but now they're weaker. Okie dokie. Um, Cooper. Time to coop. We have to coop. He doesn't look like a thing like Jesus. Oh, I know. That's what I was saying. Don't need that. On the ground. Yeah. Ah, that was so scary. We were playing hide and seek and there was this weird plant and it trapped me here. So she was right. We should have just stayed inside the village to play hide and seek. We should have obeyed her. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going home now. Good. Mario facing forward in his Paper Mario art style is always a nightmare that I'm happy to experience. Yo shirt obtained. Um. Well, right. Star Jesus did seven damage. Cooper did the last one. Is Cooper one eighth Jesus? Correct. Absolutely. What? I'm just trying to wiggle around through this geometry here. Oh. Oh. That was there the whole time, huh? What is this, Dark Souls? Sheesh. Well. Um. Oh, Cooper's Peter. Got it. Okay. He's three-eighths Jesus. Well, isn't he three sevenths Jesus? Ooh, a coin. No. Wonder if Chet Rippo would give me anything for that coin. Nah. Nah. Fine. It's not worth it. Run away. Bravely run away. Ooh! Not by a pixel. Mm-hmm. Nah. Nah. Every possible answer to that question is funny. Run away again. This time better. Nah. All right. Thank you. Oh no, my coins! I- I tried to jump, and instead I interacted with it. It's not worth fighting these dudes, they drop like three fucking coins! Or like two star coins. Alright, sushi, we're skedaddling. It's time for a skedaddle. I think this is the way out. At this point, I don't know anymore. Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. there's a shortcut back here. There we go. That's the one that's angry. Why? I could have slept in Toad Town, even. In that... 
fucking bed. That time it's okay at the very bottom of the thing. Anyway, hey, you're all back. I need- Mario needs a nap. You crazy kids. Yeah. The village. I meant the village, yes. Toad Town Yoshi Village. It's all the same. It's not actually. You want your totes being complete senses? I know what you're gonna share. Um, and yeah, if Chad hasn't seen it, it's it's a rough time. It's from the um, the Super Nintendo World thing at Universal. Bum, 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 bum. Uncle Mario is tired. Super Nintendo World. Yep. The Fearsome Five are back! Boy, there was a lot of tasty food growing in the jungle. That adventure was thrilling and filling. I didn't learn anything. Everyone gives me flack for eating all the time, but what else is there to do here? If you go on an adventure, you gotta take snacks. Even grown-ups know that. The kids are all back. I was heartbroken thinking of how scared and lonely they must have been. But as soon as they got back, they just said they were hungry. Kids, how typical. I suppose it's natural for children to be energetic, but they need to be safe, too. They never learn? Oh, by the way, our village leader wants to thank you. You better go see him. Good. Give me the key to the village. Back from the depths of the wild jungle. There was danger, intrigue, Yoshi eating beasts. I was a little scared, but I won't go there again. Dee hee. Oh, no. Just kidding. Hey, Mar, are you really going to the volcano now? It's really hot and dangerous. Grown-ups always tell us not to go to dangerous places, but you're allowed to go? That's not fair! Kids get no respect. I know. The fearsome five are back. When all of us are together, we fear nothing and nobody. Sure, the jungle was scary, but did we have fun? Oh, yeah. I think it's time for another adventure, the fearsome five. You goddamn kids. Everyone's finally calmed down since you found the kids. Thank you, thank you. Children are treasured by everyone in the village. That reminds me, the village leader wishes to thank you. You should go see him. The fearsome five are back. We got scolded, so we'll be good for now, hee <laughs> hee. But we'll be back doing exciting things again soon, yeah. Hey Mario, what are you doing now, huh? Something fun? You gonna go inside the volcano? That sounds awesome. I wish I could go too. Murray, old man, the village leader was just looking for you. I'd say he wants to thank you. Better hurry, hmm? Hey, I might just tell you where the treasure is if he's feeling thankful enough. That's all you think about. The fearsome five are back. There's nothing to be afraid of when all of us are together. We ain't scared of the jungle. We aren't scared of anything. Five, five, five friends forever. Even after we're grown-ups, we'll still be friends. Love that for you guys. Colorado likes standing and letting other people do the work. I'm so glad the kids are safely back from that dangerous jungle. We owe you, Mario. The kids seem like they got scared by the experience, but they still didn't learn anything. <sighs> yep. Yep. The Oshis are very good. Those boys promised they'd never go into the jungle alone. Little troublemakers, this could have turned into a serious situation if you hadn't found them, Mario. And Sushi? You wouldn't believe the scolding I gave them. They ought to behave themselves for a while, at least I hope they do. Let's not forget how Sushi helped and is their main caretaker. I just kind of showed up. Thanks to you, the kids are all back safe and sound. Thank you so much. Our village leader said he wants to thank you personally, so see, go see him, please. Okay. What about that one that was sleeping? Oh, hmm. Now I'm to thank you for saving the children. You've done a great thing. The village leader said there's something he wants to give you, you know? He's waiting for you over there. I, mean, I scolded them hard. Scalded and scolded them. Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. I, at least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I have remembered a good way to reach the volcano. Please come this way. Three feet over here. Okay. Huh? My fly is stuck. Nice. Well, I gotta take a whiz. You watch the door while I take a whiz, okay, Mario? Um, hi, Smiley. Pardon me while I jizz on this Raphael the Raven statue. Yeah, well, let's, hey, listen. Listen, listen to me. There's nothing about this that's lewd. Okay? I want you to look at me. I want you to look at the toad. I want you to look back to me. There's nothing lewd about this. 
If you think that this looks suspicious, that's on you. And I wholeheartedly, emphatically embrace you to do some soul searching and think about why is it that I look at something like this and think naughty thoughts, because you don't need to. That's a choice that you're making. So, I wish you the best of luck on your journey. It's it, We're here if you need anything, but, you know. Is he making a Yoshi cookie? <sighs> Damn, Yoshi be thick, though. Wait, I'm glad we can all take away something from this experience. I thought it was somewhere around here. There it is. Oh, almost done. Oh, I found it. There it is. Here, take it, please. You got the Jade Raven. The Jade statue of a very sussy little man. Ugh. I can't sit here being like, chat, the internet's broken you. When I look at a raven, I'm like, Mogus. Blue Mogus. Maybe give it to Colorado. Yeah, just give it to him and leave. Hop back in the whale's mouth. Whatever events we are not control are on this island, we ask to help a Raphael the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs come with the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just one minute. You must have one heck of a story behind you, Mario. Why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. But you don't care. You guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. You're going to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What a touching story. <laughs> Romantic stories like that just touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it. I can't let you go alone. I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end. These Yoshis are fine. They, 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 they'll, they'll grow up or die or whatever. You needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through this jungle, you need me anyway. Come, Mario. That volcano isn't getting any cooler. Well. Hi, Rancor Adoption Agency. Thank you for gifting a sub to Thick Yoshi 69 I... I, uh, I thank you for it, and I'm sure they appreciate the emotes. If you put that Jay Brave in the statue of Raphael, the way to the depths of the jungle will be. Since trees and bushes have gone over the path, you might get lost. If you do, just be sure to scout the area carefully. You might do something unexpected to find your way. Anyway, thanks. Thanks for all that. Bro. There's 68 other thick Yoshis. Oh, yeah. There's a whole village of them. Hey, here's that Jade Raven statue the Yoshi stole from you a thousand years ago. Caw! I guess they don't want it. Hmm. Caw, caw, caw. Look at these cool, cool Amoguses. With their toes out. You know what they say? Sun's out, toes out. So... They're living it to the fullest. Just a pack of wild moguses. We did it. We saved the Yoshis. Nice midnight run. Hey, it's making life fun. Have a good uh, have a good run. Stay safe. Sorry about burp that Um, hey. I think this is where we're gonna leave it for the day. Um We got through all of chapter four. Got a little bit of a head start in chapter five, but on next stream. We'll hop back into it, and um, we will go visit with Raphael the Raven and dive headfirst into a volcano, so it's sure to be a good time. Hope you come by if you can. Give it a watch, or maybe watch the VOD, or just never come back ever again. You can do whatever you want. The choice is yours. Thank you so much for hanging out, though. Really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying Paper Mario and doing well and having a good weekend. Thank you. This game is just, just goddamn delightful. And I am enjoying it quite a bit. So thank you for joining me as I revisit this and be bad at it. 
It's always fun. Um, should we raid Nicole and wish her a happy hot Amos? Kind of feels like we should. A little bit. Thanks for stream. Thank you, Kappa. And everyone in chat. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. Happy Hot Amos Day. Yep. It's a national holiday. Um, but yeah, we got sushi in our party. I think there's one partner left. Might get them in the next chapter or so. Um, but yeah, I hope you're, hope you're enjoying it. I hope if you're, if you're like me and you're revisiting this game, it's fun. Uh, if you've never seen this game before, I'm always happy to hear people's thoughts about that kind of stuff too. What you think of it? I think it's, it's a, a really neat little game. I think it's held up very well. Despite being 53 years old this year. What a, what an adventure. And, um, yeah, thank you. Hope you all have a good one. Oh, yeah, remember, if you didn't watch it, or if you forgot, or if you weren't here earlier, go watch, uh, the, the recap from Todd. I still have that link somewhere, maybe. Um, if you just go to Todd's YouTube channel. Shit, I don't think I'll be able to grab it before the raid goes. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe? Um, from Color Funk Arcade. He did a video, half hour recap of how all the challenges went and the future challenges and all that stuff. It's gonna be real good. Wait, here's the video. Wait, shit. Raid's about to go. Before you go, grab this link. Shit. There you go. There you go. Okay, bye. Watch that. It's good. Bye! Ugh. Just barely got that. You should watch the two VOD watchers. It's real fun. The second challenge is gonna be coming up soon. Uh, take care. Hope you're enjoying Paper Mario. And, um, thank you. Hope you're doing well. Take care, VOD watchers. See you in the whatever, you know. When I say see you, but also, I mean, it's, it's kind of very one way. You'll see me, maybe. Again, if you so choose. Goodbye. Be well. See you. Don't forget to do that thing you were going to do earlier. <laughs>